We're doing a show called Bonfire Banter out here today. Uh, Justin, right? What is his name? Justin Peabody or something like that? He usually does this show. He's amazingly average at it. Uh, but I'm Tony Stark, as you all know. Yeah. Much better looking. I'm a pumpkin. Philanthropist, I'm a, playboy, I'm millionaire. The, I'm the scariest of all. Yeah. Bears fan. Yeah, it's terrifying. <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah, your farts are scary. That and, uh, you know, anybody that keeps rooting for a team like that, that's, you got to have one. some kind of problems. Somebody, yeah. what does that one say there? Oh, that's brilliant. This team makes me drink. Very classy. Did you steal that's that chair from Frank? Is that Frank's? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're sitting out here. The temperature is amazing. You guys do a fantastic job doing this outside in the Midwest. Real smart. Got a huge turnout here. Probably because the weather's so great. Very smart stuff, guys. Fantastic. Jack Kozar owns this place. He's letting us try out some foods here today. But he's got this lobster roll. It's got to be fresh because you guys are in Chicago. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> We've what got some got? fries back here, too. Oh, yeah, fries. Great. Yeah. You guys are healthy. I can see you we got the, yourselves. Well, we got the Tonys back here. So, so yeah, as you Tony know, I'm the Tony mechanic. Stark. Tony Rigatoni. Tony Rigatoni. He would have a, he's got a white beater on, but it's too cold out for that, you know. Yeah. It's gonna be he's got the hair going, though. We're off. good. We're good. <laughs> Let's try to stay warm out here. But we're going to be trying some foods, some drinks from Fuel and Creme here today. Jordan, why don't you start us off here? Why don't you try this? This is an autumn St. Green. I got four straws. Why don't you uh, try it out? It's very autumn-y. autumn -y. <laughs> It's definitely... What is Great autumn? vocabulary. What is autumn? Great vocabulary. It tastes it's fantastic. like. It tastes like. Oh, there's. Uh, you're the West it's guy. Very appley. Dried leaves. It's very appley. The car over there. It's very appley. Very appley. That's it. That's what makes it's, it autumn. It's very. Yeah. I mean, like. You could drink it. You don't have to uh, be a creep with the straw thing. You're not saving anybody. Honestly, I tasted it the first time and it tasted like apples, and then I tasted it the second time and it tasted like this. Did you eat a part of that? I don't know. That's not. I may have. That's a garnish. Oh. Okay. You're not supposed to eat these. Not supposed to eat that. Oh, okay. No. You know what the, you know what the worst thing about fall is? It's apple picking. Yeah, that's it's a fucking racket, dude. They got the racket on it. You Why? go out there because spend a bunch of money. It. The guy owns the fucking apple orchard. You pick a little bushel bag. It's not even a bushel. It's like a little sack of apples. It's like fifty-eight dollars. No way. Yeah, it's really apples I've are going off apple. at about five dollars a pound at Jewel. I've yeah, never but, uh, done apple. So Amanda wanted to go. Apple. I shop at Whole Foods, but so the wife yeah, wanted to go expensive. apple picking. Last year we went. Tony Stark. Money. And I got my money out of it by eating as many apples as possible in the orchard. Nice. Yes. Right. How'd your stomach feel after that? That's oh, it's fucking awesome. But all I know is I ate probably fifteen apples, like everything. Fuji's. I'm talking Washingtons. I'm talking any any Ooh. flavor apple Ooh. you could think of. I ate them all, and then I just chucked the cores into the orchard. And then I just filled the bag. So I got, I tried to like narrow the margin. So your integrity is My integrity? Yes. Fuck, you're, you're going to talk about integrity with somebody that owns a fucking apple orchard. I own Charged. several apple orchards. Yes. You, Guys dude. like you, trying to cut down my product. The, app, the, the Midwest suburban apple orchard is the biggest racket on the face of the planet. <laughs> what about pumpkins? The pumpkin. Cody, why don't you jump in? I'm just Come saying. on over. I mean, yeah, pumpkins, I, I mean, oh, they take up more real estate. Hey, you got the same costume as me. Yeah. Bears fan. Out. Bears fan. What's up, Cody? Terrifying. <laughs> anyways, it's a terrifying costume. Anyways, I, I 86 the apple pick. Taste that thing. Yeah. We're, just saying, we're done. Take a straw. We're done. We're done, we're done here. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. What do you think about what this drink? Would you drink this, Mr. Uh, Cody Gold? Wait, tell him the name of it first. It's what the is, Autumn Sangria. Yeah. Somebody asked me that I'm drinking. You're drinking. But usually it's whatever tasty. it is. I'm what does it taste like, though? Describe the taste. Uh, it tastes like apple cider vinegar See? almost. Yeah. There's a shirt that says apple. In you. the car. If you take over there for you. My if car. you take another sip, My though, car. try to focus right on there. the... It tastes. It's open. It kind of tastes like pine a little bit. If you take a little bit? Sip. Okay. Well, that, he ate the pine needles, that, so that was his that issue. That cup has more fruit in it than a bar in Boys Town. <laughs> <laughs> you would There's know. no liquor. Look at they did all the ice. nah. They do a good job here. It is good. It is good. Yeah. It's actually delicious. It's actually pretty. I'm good. just shit talking because I'm. I think, I'm not a huge apple. Restaurant. I'm not a huge yeah. apple fan. Though. Oh, oh you're your gonna drink it tomorrow. Variety. My last day. Gotcha. Let's get into the food then. All right. Okay. You must have tried this. Yeah, you guys. This is their lobster. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, he doesn't. I'll, he doesn't take, I'll take. I'll take a bite. Take no, you don't want another. Hung over. You're good. Okay. My lobster roll. I've heard about this. But it's the blue moon's last. Oh. 
Too many blue moons. You don't know how to open a drink. Perfect. Are you opening non-twist caps with your thumb? No, that was it. That was it. Trying to bang it on the chair. Okay. Lobster crack going in. Going in. Fuel and creme. Oh, you're this dropping. is actually oh, no, food truck. You're dropping it right? everywhere. <laughs> dropping everywhere. <laughs> Floating fresh this morning. <laughs> Delicious. The roll, it, the, roll is, caught. the roll is crisp and buttery. That it is. Bad. It is. It was caught at 4 a.m. this morning, flown to Chicago, and then cooked. Right. Delicious. Let's dissect this. Good. One. Dissect it. What do you see in there? I think it's mayo. There's definitely some sort of... Looks like a little, bit of, a little bit of mayo in there. A buttery crisp roll. Pretty good. I've never had anything bad from here. No. Some things way better than others, but everything yeah, good. Everything's good. Everything good. Always, mm-hmm. Yeah, everything's always good here. Well, that lobster roll is pretty good. And is this out of the, um, is that a truck? It's always, food truck. all the truck. Yeah, so. yeah, we just ordered some. So, uh, she got the classic to, burger, and I got okay. the, uh, what the hell I get? Oh, the breakfast burrito. Yeah, we got the breakfast stuff. burrito with that. Right. We'll see how that goes. When they started this place, they were getting rotating uh, food trucks in here. Right. And then yeah. they found that they were at the mercy of when these people wanted to show up. They showed yes. up on time and right. not. So he ended up just buying his own food truck. Oh, this is Jack? I own Jack's it now. I'm, I'm, and I was wondering how that worked because I remember it was three, in and out all the now time. It's three stationary buildings, technically. Oh, right. Because it's stayed on the food truck, but it's, it's not moving anymore. Just looked. But Jack, <laughs> Jack recently got elected to the treasurer, the board of trustees. Gotcha. For Villa Park. So I'm on a t- few boards myself, but yeah. neither here nor there. <laughs> Yeah, well, the diving board doesn't count. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start. I'm a playboy. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Start. I got a lot of yeah. <laughs> So I guess Jack wanted to build, Jack's been wanting to build a, uh, a de- upper deck on fuel for a I while. And the previous yep. uh, board of trustees kind of shot it down. Shot it down because he didn't have I think, parking space. I think it's because of the parking situation. Yeah. Which it's not but, supposed to be. Uh, but they just the opened up that board. whole parking lot over there. Not only that. They just opened about, that whole thing. It's not about the parking situation here. The location itself is allowing people to come here without parking. That's the whole point of why they picked this spot. Yeah, well, especially so you in can walk. The That's a good point. Months. Well, yeah, the warmer, warmer months, months, mostly. Because but, they're riding their bikes. Exactly. And you yeah. can stop by and you can don't have to drive here, which means you don't have to leave drunk. Yeah, it's drive, more of a leisure right? kind of... Yeah, it's more of a leisure way walk, stop from by from, from the community. Yeah, right. It's not like a we want to attract the whole entire outside of the community well, they don't people close to drive here. They close like a reasonable hour. Yeah, right? they like close at like 10. Right. Yeah, it's not, you know, it's not a Domitos. It's not no, another Domitos. It's supposed to be like a brunch another spot. Mahoney's right. or like it's supposed that. supposed to be like know? a brunch, Sunday right. brunch spot. Yeah, I went to a party at Diddy's house one time and he said no upper deckers, but I did it anyway. Here we go. We got some more food here. Oh, sweet. What are we trying? That looks like mac oh, and cheese. What is that? Okay. Oh, you got the cheese. There we go. That's my wife. Uh, she's in the, she? she's, uh, she's around. In there. I actually got the breakfast burrito, and I will eat it live on Yeah, And I will yeah, eat it live. Test. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. What's your name there, bud? Don't forget that. Yeah, don't forget that DC real quick. Thank you for all your help there, bud. Thank you, bud. Appreciate it. The DC. <laughs> gotta Fantastic have, Gotta stuff. have the DC, you know what I mean? Gee, it's gonna uh, be, we're, more, we're more Marvel guys. It's here. gonna be nine out of five more owns. I can yeah, tell you. Right we're more Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming. All right, let's uh, see what this. Breakfast. Dude, 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 the breakfast dude, dude, What's in there? there? What's in there first? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's uh, chorizo, eggs, avocado. Oh looks gosh. like maybe some cheese. That actually that looks, looks delicious. It might be cheese. <laughs> <laughs> might be ordering one of those as well. Salsa. It does look really good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the guac. Cody and me might need to be getting the other half of that, and then we'll order you another one. Yeah. Another day. As my as my friend, we're getting. As my friend Cugino would say, 10 out of 5 marrons. Okay, very nice. <laughs> 5 marrons. No, the only way they got me yeah, out here, DC. Tony Stark, was to give us all free stuff. So I'm not paying for anything today. <laughs> the rich get richer. I've huh? donated enough. So. <laughs> that is really excellent. Is it very good? Yeah, it looks, yeah. It looks if good. you guys come up here, for sure, breakfast burrito. I think that truck. might be only for uh, Saturday, Sunday. So what, what is it on the, the scale uh, out of 10? 10, 10 out of yeah, 10, 10, 10 out of 5 marrons. Oh, okay. 10, 10 out of 5 marrons. Okay. Only Italians. They usually do a decimal point marons. here on Vampire Banter, but that's fine. It's a. Uh, oh, my God. That's, that means really good. So, Cody, what would you give this on the Sangria scale? Uh, it's not. 1 to 10. I don't want to just toss out 10s. You know yeah, what I no, mean? No, you can't. No. It's 1 to 10 with decimal points. You have to earn that. 10 to 1 to 10. I'm going to go. I'm gonna go an eight four. I'm eight, gonna go four. an eight four. I was thinking eight four. Uh, because it's really good. It's really good. Uh, I just don't know if I, I feel bar. like there's an opportunity for a little bit bolder flavor there. Okay. There's it's potential very, for growth. There's nothing wrong with it. There's potential for growth. Which it's there should very always be. You know you're, what operating, I mean? you're operating on the um Portnoy scale? Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. It's yeah. kinda yeah. Uh, that's what points. Yeah. Right. Everybody knows the rules. 
Everybody knows one bite after bites. six bites. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really follow. Yeah, you gotta squeeze. You gotta squeeze. That's usually my you favorite. You know what? I should order. Well. I should order What's a couple. Are we getting th- different drinks so, going here? Or I'll... What were you? Uh, you said eight two. Drinks? Eight two. Um, yeah. your, but no, hold on. Do scale? So I may. I may have to find out what's supposed to happen. Gotcha. I think the orange has to be in. Can give them a taste. The orange has got to get mixed around. You got to drink all four. Put COVID on all four of those. That's fantastic. I got both shots, both boosters. I got everything. I just gave, I said, give it all to me. Ah, they pumped me with all the Bugs good butter. Stuff. Try it with the. Well, yeah, you're reaching over a fire. Yeah, I know. It's got more of a flavor profile. There you go. See, that's what I was like. It's got, it's that, it, had the, it had to calm second, down too. on yes, the uh, yeah, thank you. vinegar, yes. the apple cider vinegar taste. That was that is better. Yeah. Yeah, you I mean, really, you might want to even mash up the, the blueberries I, a little bit, get things yeah, going. Yeah. In there, mash you know? it, you got mash it all. It's a little food party. I'm going to figure out how to make Could this. Could you help us with the next out. cocktail, too, that any cocktail is special to you? They, they do a, a good lot. job. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Good ingredients and whatnot, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. They're all fresh. It's really good. Yeah. Chorizo is really good. How's that salsa? Salsa is pretty good. It's yeah, uh, Is it spicy or no? It's got a kick Yeah, you're going to have to maybe give us a couple bites of this. We'll give you another one, man. We got the free okay, uh, every right. tab over here. There's going to be more food coming me. out here. We're bringing out here. some more food in a second. Yeah. Here. It's going to be all right. Me and Cody are trying it. Let's see what hey, we got. Can we talk a little bit about oh, just the how you made that right uh, the Tony there. Stark uh, thingy there? What oh, this is an arc reactor? Yes. And um, I made it. It was made the first one in a cave. Yeah, that's the right. second one, I had my whole lab and everything. It was, pretty, it was easier. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> 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 all right, here we go. Definitely yeah. staying <laughs> in the cave. Get this bite right here with the, the jalapeno. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that yeah, one was yeah. tougher. So good. That was tougher. Dude, yeah, tell me it's not gonna hit the spot, bro. In the middle of the desert. It's good. You know what's tougher? It was actually keeping good. this yeah, pencil good, thin yeah. line in my face in the wow. cave. In the cave. Yeah, which I can start every day like that. That'll hit any time. Nope. The knife. Morning. Stone knife. Stone knife that you raise now. Oh. Oh, here we go. Some sliders. Pork sliders. Beautiful. That I have. I have had. So that burrito. Is amazing. Yeah, it's really good. The little spice here with that jalapeno. I probably would have ordered no jalapenos because it gives me heartburn. I still got those uh, pieces of shrapnel floating around my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to agitate that. I'm going I'm to give the drink first off. I'm going to give the drink a 9 1 on the sangria scale. Okay, I, I like think that. it's very good. On the sangria scale. What, saying, about oh, the, what about the drink scale? Though? Well, that's a different drink. scale. I mean, it's a sangria. That's so a whole other video. Scale. It's a whole other video. Sangria scale, 9 1 all day. Okay. 9 1, all right. Very good sangria. You're looking for something folly, autumn-y. Come get it. Delicious. Yeah. yeah. Autumn-y. The burrito, though. On the burrito scale? On the breakfast burrito scale. Yeah. Oh, you're going solely breakfast Oh, burritos? yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. Uh, that's a... Uh, well, because, you know, have you guys ever had the Chick-fil-A breakfast burrito? Yes, uh, I have. Delicious. Yeah. I, uh, people All don't I know, know about McDonald's it. McDonald's breakfast burritos make me have instant big D. Yeah. yeah no. no doubt. No. It's like, oh, you want a good colonic? Yeah. Pound like four or five of those little burritos at McDonald's parts tonight. Dude, right. it, it sounds like air stuck in a paint sprayer line. <laughs> <laughs> like, do I have air in my paint sprayer? Like my whacker? Yeah. <laughs> 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 pop, pop. Right. You know? um, yeah. So, as far as this on your breakfast burrito scale, what are you giving it? I'm going to go 8 1. 8 1. Really? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I like them spicier. Spicier? Right. The tree wow. not too spicy. This isn't really that spicy. I'm a spicy guy. Huh. So, so that's the lack why of I spice. Ate. Yeah. The lack of spice. A chorizo and jalapeno and a sauce. This guy's got a lack of spice. <laughs> okay. The, the chorizo. Personal so. preference. Hey, uh, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> all right. Breakfast burrito scale for you. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to say the the low nine. So I'm going to go like uh, like a nine one. I like that nine, nine one. one for like that. Nine so one. I'm going to call it like a nine one because it almost gives off the kind of Homemade style. Thank you so much. Ooh. This is Sergio, by yep. the way, the GM here. Yep. Yep. Thank you for all your help today, Sergio. Absolutely. Wow. It's Tony, by the way. But was it maple whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maple not, whiskey sour. I'm not quite sure what this bourbon. is. Making. This might be the bourbon. Yeah, what's on top there? Whiskey sour. Whiskey sour. Bourbon whiskey sour. Bourbon whiskey sour. I think it's a okay. maple bourbon. Nice. Whiskey. Maple bourbon might be maple sour, bourbon whiskey sour. That sounds very okay. autumny. Yes, absolutely. They were trying. I to like how we're all using the autumny now. Yes, autumny. Um, it's like, all right, I'm going to give the breakfast burrito a 9.5 personally mm. because the flavor's in there. It's much more fresh than any breakfast burrito yes. I've ever had. Yes. The Chick fil A one to me is about a 9.2. Yes. Thank you what so is much. This one? New York, New York, York sandwich. sandwich. Wow. Oh. Okay. We're going to have to get Joe a piece of that one too because he's okay. giving up some bites of the uh, 
That's okay. Well, Jordan doesn't. Do you want to eat anything? Not really. My stomach. Really? Is that bad? Right. Well, Cody, that's a shame, really. Yeah. But jump in here. Everyone hey, jump in we here. Gotta do what we got to do. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let's no. take one for it. Let's don't go. worry about it. With the pulled pork splatters, maybe. I've had the pulled pork myself, so. Ooh, that looks juicy. I could tag somebody oh. in who will try something. Oh, my. Tag somebody in. How juicy is food. that? Wes, do you want to try some food? Yeah, Wes, go eat some food. Can we Signing out. Bonfire Banter. Oh, wait, that's not me. That's him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a bite of this guy. Just try a little meaty Try what you want here. Well, that one, go ahead. Yeah. Some fantastic stuff on here. I mean, just the pulled pork, super tender. Look juicy. I don't know what kind of barbecue they got in here, but it is it is juicing. And they look like they got a little coleslaw on there, too. Yeah. Oh, really? I mean, these are delicious. A little slaw. Yeah, there's a little slaw. You can see it hanging out. The slaw can be a make or break. Oh, it's got a nice little you crunch do to it. it right. Mmm. That slider's good. One bite of this, I'm at a ball game. Ball game. White Sox versus Cubs. It's the bottom of the ninth. It's a tie game. Right. The sun's out. There's no better place to be. That's how, what that bite, bite how, tastes how like. How many Madones? Uh, a lot. Ten. <laughs> Ten out of two Madones? Ten out of two. <laughs> right. I like to go higher over lower. I like that. I yeah. do like that. That is really good. Very That's good. good. Yeah. New York strip sandwich. It's got a little nostalgia to it too. You ever have it bite into something? You get a little nostalgia. Yeah. Where did favorite memory? Where did it take you back to? Oh wow! Your your uh, the, the, the game. The game. Your the typical host actually yeah. showed up. Yeah. Fantastic. Shittiest color. <laughs> Running late. Somebody else get a bite. Always some sauce on you. But you get a chopper. Why don't you get a helicopter? Get you around a little faster. What's up, brother? How you been? So, you got yeah, a lot to pull, eat or uh, yeah, you might have, have, have these sliders. How many sliders? All right. I'm going to be trying this New York sandwich here in a second. Yeah, that's some, uh, that's a meaty sandwich that right there. Very good. Right. Very, very good. I'm going to see what this little uh, maple bourbon, what was it? Maple bourbon sour? Whiskey sour. Whiskey sour. Mm. You definitely get that hit the maple in there. Mm -hmm. Can I try that out? I would like a little sip, please. I wonder if they use like a maple... What do you guys use in this in this whiskey sour? You guys use a maple bourbon? Yeah, so you got a uh, maple syrup in there, and you got oh, a really? bullet of uh, bourbon. Okay. And okay. a little bit of lemon juice. All right. Excellent. Very good. Very nice. good. That's all good. the food's yeah. been amazing as yeah, well. Yeah, good. Very yeah. impressed. So like the harvest sangria. That's awesome. Yeah. Again, if you like it, you're into sangrias and Definitely. nice yeah. crisp. Uh, I gave it a 9.1 on the sangria scale, so it's pretty high. Great. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very good. Absolutely. Sure. And the burrito's good, too, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's my go to every Saturday, like. Oh, you know, Every style, I'd be here. I'd be here Monday through Friday. The brunch is Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday is uh, cool. eleven to three. All this right, is a brunch. Okay. I'm gonna hear that tomorrow. You guys are taking down the walls on this baby. It up. Closing it oh, in. Okay. That's right. All That's right. right. Cool. Yeah, and it's nice and insulated in here. You got the heat coming in from the inside. It's basically like an extension of the bar. Awesome. Gotcha. Yeah. So this place turns into a winter wonderland here very <laughs> shortly. You get the snow outside, but you can sit in here, be warm, get some drinks, get some food. Yeah, nothing sounds, better. That sounds good. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Thank Sergio. You. Yeah, appreciate it. Joe, you trying to sit? Might need to get no, Sergio. I'm 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 stay sober October. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. He's still going sober it's October. Been a long month. All right. So which one is contaminated? That's the uh, all four of them. Who knows now? Well, yeah. yeah. It's a, there you go. Now on your sangria scale, you got to tell us. Oh, what they you got think. the they got the au jus on the side. Oh there. yeah, a little au jus. Yeah, that's phenomenal. What do you got there? Tender, pretty tender. Looks tender. That's amazing. Yeah, it's very, very good. Very good. So you're using high quality steak on there. Yeah. Not chewy. Yep. Yep. Super tender meat. Yes. Give it like an eight. Harmonized onions on there. Sangria. Eight. Yeah. Even eight. I was there. I was there about, about, an, eight. I was about an eight four. About an eight four. I like it. The steak sandwich, fruit, you know. Yeah. Give it a little, you know. It's a, a little yeah. bit bolder flavor to it, right? Yeah. Well, it's got to sit. You know what I mean? Sorry. Go ahead. Steak sandwich. Anywhere around here. That's going to be top of my list. Chef Jordan, however, did make a ribeye sandwich one time on the show. I watched the past episodes before I came out here because I do a lot of studying before I do any engagements like this. But that's fantastic. On the, on the steak sandwich scale, that's getting a 9.3. Yeah, That's very good. I would up. agree. Yeah. Caramelized would agree. onions are fantastic. It makes it. The bread's very soft. The bread is very good. Yep. I don't like when there's hard bread on a sandwich you like that. You can't do it. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people, most of the sub places that always... Crunches them. Quiznos? Uh-huh. Not a big Quiznos guy. Is that I, like wrong? I haven't been to Quiznos. Quiznos That's a long time. You guys know Quiznos is still a thing? One out of ten my don'ts. Terrible. <laughs> I don't like Quiznos. Quiznos is they got a location right next not, to Blockbuster. Yeah. They're in all they're in all your local blockbuster stores, so that's good. Um, 
<laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a Jimmy John's guy when it comes to sandwiches. I'm a Jimmy John's guy. Or well. like uh, Ozzy's over there, man. I like, don't know. Jersey Mike's, my money is. You like Jersey Mike's? Yeah. I thought you had yeah. to be only a queer firefighter to go in there. <laughs> well, I live in LA. Oh, that's Firehouse, my bad. Oh, yeah. Do <laughs> is that house. still around? Firehouse is good. Firehouse is very good. good. Yeah. yeah. I've never been a to toasted sub. Been to they got Jersey great Mike's toasted sub. For me, it's I like. I you know what? Jones, Subway yeah. has yeah. really stepped up their game. I I hadn't gone in a long time. I never rose feet. I had to go there in an emergency, and some I'll be going used, back. Some guy used to work there and like really load up my freaking chicken. Oh yeah, you used to work chicken at bacon ranches. Yeah, sure. You used to work at Subway in high school, didn't you? Like when you were uh, sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Used the one up the, and all the Used to get, the, used to get the double chicken bacon ranches. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Load them up. All the fix. Turn the cameras around. Start dumping a lot of meat down there? Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. All right. So let's see what we got here. Um, Joe, have you tried the steak sandwich? No, but I will. Get in. That's a thick, uh, that's not even, that looks more like a gravy. And you haven't tried this yet? No, I have not. All right, I'll get this over by you. This is like a gravy. Yeah. Look how thick it is. Yeah. It's very good. Right, go. it I'll get the name. It's different than an au jus here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. You boys need to be asking too for any food you guys mm. want to try back there. If you guys see Bro, something, let me try menu, this. Let me try this. Uh, you little guys can bite taste there, huh? stuff back there too. Bro, how are their fries, by the way? You guys did try some fries. They got some delicious fries. Did you put the gravy on it? That makes it. Yeah, that, that, that is very that good. Little, that little jus gravy. That with the caramelized onions, like oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's that's very very good. That's what I'm saying. The caramelized onions there. That makes it ideal. That is good. Damn good. Yeah, put out a really food good. truck? Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever had uh, better right. food out of a food truck that's first good, time, yeah. right? Yeah, that's real good. Dude, you know what? These guys, I don't know. Um, this is a thing out in L.A. and stuff. I've traveled for work a little bit. They have, like, food truck little, like, cities. I saw yeah, one of those yes, in right? Chicago. Is there I one? I saw one, of, and it okay. was kind of all different types of... That'd be cool to get one out in the suburbs. Maybe. Yeah. BP would be a weird kind of joint for that. It would work out, too. It would work here. Yeah. We, could, yeah. we could run one up and down the... Prairie path like kind of area. I mean, you got downtown Elmhurst right there too. That's not right. Far. Just run them all down the street and close off the street. Yeah, yeah. a little food truck extravaganza, dude. Yeah, that's money to hire. Jack. These guys would sweep it up. This is oh, this, this would be, be like the final course. point or something like that. Course. It comes down to here, right? right. Maybe I'll have 10, idea. 20 food trucks and maybe I'll get them out here. Is that what you do? Do that for you guys? Yeah. yeah. That's at least I could do for you. Just give, make a call yeah. and buy 20 of them. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, you know, do they serve food? And during that yeah. day, during the day, those trucks don't have to do their full menu. They could just do a limited yeah. three item menu or something. And Bring your just... best. Well, you know, you could do it. You could almost buy tickets for it, and they have like kind of like their tastings. Oh, do you get You know what I mean? Yeah, or tickets or something like that. I don't know. It's you can do it like idea. a couple That's different a ways. Idea. They do that at certain fests that you go into, like the food taster. That, like, they even do, I've uh, been at uh, certain fest where they'll do like a beer tasting area. Yeah. And again, you got to get a ticket, but then you can go around and get yeah, these little tasters. Beer fest, right? Yes. I think I just passed. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I didn't know they did that here. Yeah, they do it right here by the Prairie Lions Park. Park yeah. At Lions Park. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, they do a lot of that stuff in LA where I live. So, yeah, I didn't know what you guys do in this Midwestern yeah. little tiny suburb. <laughs> yeah, I can play with Stark Industries, though. Yeah, well, it's busy, yeah. busy but I, and I do have, uh, you know, my beautiful wife is doing a lot of that now. Who's that? Frees me up. Who's that? Penny Pulpit or oh, yeah. whatever her name is? <laughs> do, Penny, Pulpit, do you Penny, not know her name? Penny Hoarder? <laughs> Jesus. What's her name? You're April? not worth it. You're not worth it. You're not worth it. Oh, that's Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> Penny Hardaway? That's something Penny or something. Nicole. Oh, I forgot her name. So, what has your favorite thing been so far that you've tried here? I like the breakfast burrito. Yeah, breakfast burritos yeah. are very good. Sergio's on board with that. He's liking that. I like the breakfast burrito. I like the steak sandwich. So it's good. I think the steak sandwich really sticks well, out to me because it, it's 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 hard to do a really good one. Yeah. And yeah. consistently good every right. time you come to it's get one. Around here, I feel like it's not a big item. No. It's no. Really good. The more brewing company has a steak sandwich. It's pretty solid, but that one's way more flavorful. Right. This one here with these caramelized onions and everything they got in it is better. Yeah. 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 Worst steak sandwich. Hope you're not watching anyone from Q's Pizzeria over there in. Uh, on Butterfield Road. Oh, you're gonna shit talk Hughes, dude. Awful. Sorry. Bland. Sorry, what's Danilo, wrong with it? Sorry, Danilo Rousey's grandparents. There's zero. There is zero flavor. Sorry about to it. that. Zero flavor. It's awful. Garbage. Danilo, if you're watching, I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> it's okay. He does not speak for me. <laughs> you're oh. sorry if you put more seasoning on your steak. I mean, you'd be oh. a lot less sorry. Oh. Oh. Wearing shots, dude. Wearing shots on Butterfield. So, if you want a good steak sandwich, Wait. Wait, feel crap. So local, real quick, sidebar, local pizza, what's your favorite? Dominic's. 
Dolls. Oh. Hands down. I don't know. He likes, I was going to say Michael Anthony's because Chad's here. I, I, I really am not a huge fan of pizza in general. Michael Anthony's right there. I do like Michael Anthony's. I, I like Michael Anthony's. Never Michael Anthony's, Michael Anthony's. Never Michael Anthony's like four Thomas, cheese pizza is very good. Four cheese pizza, pizza from pizza. Michael Anthony's. Very uh, good. One of the other Tony's over there is going to say Galeo's or something because he goes right by it. What's your favorite? What is it? My Maria's, maybe? Dominic's is really? fire. Is it really? I don't know. I, I, it's very I, good. My, it's very my judgment doesn't hold too much weight. Their barbecue chicken. That's what we were just saying. Yeah, yeah Michael Anthony's pretty good. Yeah. And then you guys keep pointing in weird directions. Yeah. Michael Anthony's yeah. right yeah. there. It's right there, yeah. <laughs> but for Michael Anthony's, or for DeLeo's, I'm sorry, they have the best barbecue chicken pizza. Yeah, they have stuff. Really? That's by Rob's on Butterfield and uh, York thing. I'm going right to try it. I love the chicken. It's so interesting. Good. Very, very good. Anyway, I used to eat a lot of those. In California, California Pizza Kitchen. What? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, were, yeah, you man, eat there? That was more like a flat. Ah, I got yeah, a couple times below you. Well, I, I opened a few stores. Oh, I ah. some, uh, some pictures and stuff. Right. So I had to try some of it. I spit it back out. It was you know, a promo. I, yeah, I yeah, actually yeah. eat it. Right. I just put it in my mouth, chewed it up, got the flavor profile, spit it back out. It's just totally starker. That's how I keep it tight. Right. For the cameras. Yeah. Keep, yeah. keep it tight. Yeah, I see that. Gotta keep it tight. Yeah. You're a superhero. People expect a certain image. Alter ego. Alter ego. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. No, that's uh, that's a whole different guy. That's a totally yeah. different uh, group. He's a billionaire. Oh, he's not my alter ego. He's a fucking enemy. I like that guy. Bruce Wayne? Batman? Yeah, it's the Iron Man, Bruce no. Wayne are the same. He's got gadgets and stuff that's uh, on a low level compared to mine. Yeah, I would agree. What if we figured out that they were cousins or something? And they were huh? like, oh, we're related? That's why we're both eccentric. Well, we're not. But we're not related. Because <laughs> I know my family. I would tree. know. Yeah. Obviously, no. <laughs> well, no, but it was hidden from you as a child. Oh, well, as a child. Maybe. Yeah. They sealed the record. Coming out for you guys to try. It's Perfect. Like a pile of mode. Did you guys want to try any other food? Huh? Yeah. What? Uh, maybe anything else that you, you think is that. a specialty? All right. Yeah. I'll take yeah. some more brunch items. Yeah. Cool. No, we cool. don't Thank want you. any more food. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bring more food. <laughs> yeah, no, but. Uh, yeah, we're He's, an, he, he's a okay. nice guy. Okay, you can tell me something. He's, he has a little bit more of an ego than me. Let me tell you something about Bruce Wayne. Supposedly, him and Alfred are the only ones that know about the Batcave. You seen that fucking thing? Dude. Because someone it's had secret. to build that. They, 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 they told me There's no contractors entrance. were used. Yeah, see, my contract was new. On, like, I did it right on the edge of a cliff. I wasn't trying to hide anything. Bro, this guy's like a shame Batman, in He's driving down a lab. tunnel, and the thing opens up on the side of a cliff. It's like... You want me to believe Alfred? Yeah. Ikea that together? Yeah, he, he built that shit. I don't see his old ass getting no. out there and building a fucking 40-ton black gate door. See, that's okay. what we're different. I have robots that I've built that help right. me out. He's got an old man uh, helping him out. Well, maybe it was already there. You maybe it was AI. already there. What's that guy? Jarvis. Jarvis, yeah. Yeah, Jarvis. Yes. Because you already... See, you were well, smart. You built the help first. Jarvis became uh, our friend, though, as well. Vision. I mean, so... Vision, yeah. He's so, vision. Oh, that's right. He's great now. He's living with, uh, what's her name? Uh, Wanda. Wanda, yeah. He's Wanda. Yeah. How's she doing? Yeah, he's, I don't know. They were doing the spinoff thing with them. Like, it's black and white. I, I couldn't watch it. It was yeah. unwatchable for me. Right. But, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not good. worth my time. I heard it's good, to yeah. be honest. I got a lot of things going on right now. Yeah. Like, um, I, they, they killed me off on the movies, but it was just for. Well, you weren't in it, so yeah, it's yeah. not. No, it's no garbage. interest to you. Like yeah. that other spinoff yeah. with Loki. When they're that doing was all right. Time uh, I, you know what? I didn't even heard anything about it. Yeah, yeah, Loki like was Owen good. Wilson, yeah. What was it good? Owen Wilson does a good job in it. Yeah, he does. Owen Wilson is Loki? No. no. It's the wish. same guy that plays Loki in the uh, Avengers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Owen, Owen Wilson, Wilson works he... at this like time. Yeah, I love Owen Wilson. Anything Owen Wilson for me is big. big. Uh, it's like the Timekeeper's uh, yeah, something. Uh, union. Something. Yeah. Los Angeles Local 305. <laughs> pumpkin Esco Bob. Yeah. Pumpkin Esco. Yeah, we got oh, pumpkin. We should have done a Tracy Morgan pumpkin. Pumpkin Escobar. And it could have been Pumpkin Escobar. We, and then we could have done... How did we not think of this? Could have done some, some fake narcotics. Right by like, pumpkin <laughs> Escobar. Next it's just his like, ID. In yeah, the Los Angeles Local okay. 305. Yeah. yeah. Apple pie a la mode. Yeah, really good. fantastic. Good wow. That's one of the ones you got to like shave the rind of the pumpkin. I guess we're all yeah. something yeah. up to yeah. say anyway at this point. You're vaccinated, you know. I got all of them. good. I actually <laughs> developed and synthesized my own vaccine. Oh, really? Yeah, it's much better, much stronger than all the others. Share it. Why don't you share it? Why would I do that? <laughs> Did you also come up with that oh, in a cave? Was I supposed to be? Oh, that was in my lab. Mm -hmm. Why would I? Now, did you did you actually? Yeah. Did, did your team accidentally? Just leak one. Just one thing. The original virus from the Wuhan lab, or? Uh, we had a small part in it. We had a small part in it, but it was really not Thank our fault. We went there for good you. reasons. <laughs> just pretty good. things well, got wild. Smell it. What do you think of the smell? Oh huh? yeah, I could smell it. Give it a smell. 
We got some friends stopping by over here. We got some guys. Good to see you guys. It does smell very delicious. Does it? So yeah. apple pie all about oh, it. was. I, I mean, if you say apple pie all about it and you try something like that, I mean. You got to stick by your principles, dude. Stick by the guns. You gotta, you if got you're going to do it, you got to do it. Guys, How's it going, boys? Guys. Hey, what's nice up, to meet man? you. What's your nice name? Nice to meet you. Emilio? Emilio? I've been to the fun well, part nice a few nice times. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you yeah. guys. What's up? What are you, who are you supposed to be? Uh, Ramon yeah, Ayala? There you go. I like that. Looks good. Looks good. Absolutely. That's very good. Very, very good. I like this. It's like a treat. It's almost if like a treat. Yeah, if you want some dessert with some alcohol in it, take a try at that, maybe. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty delicious. Yeah. I feel like all the autumn drinks are going to be very, like, uh, you know, like apple or pumpkin, right? That's, like, yeah. the standard yeah. autumn. It's like bread ale. Flavorable. That's what you're throwing in there, yeah. Right. Like the apples. Yeah. Pumpkin, I tried, uh, it does kind of taste like rum shot uh, and fireball. Kind of. There's got to be some rum shot in there. So it has to be. Yeah. Some cinnamon You know what I don't really get into? Usually the pumpkin flavored shit. No. Yeah. But this year, I'm I tried. get the Starbucks like pumpkin spice creamer. Okay. Oh, is it really basic. that good? Dude, seven out of five bottles. So you're like a basic white yeah, bitch. Basic. Oh, oh, I'm as basic bitch as Okay. Couple, nice. Perfect. Oh, I did roast those pumpkin seeds though. Out of my own pumpkins that we cut. Yeah, so basic, basic white bitch again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's nothing wrong oh, with that though. Well, I, I sent you the Pinterest link. <laughs> You sent him the Pinterest link, potentially. That was a different link. I sent him my own Pinterest link. <laughs> oh, <laughs> totally different. Don't tell anybody about that. There's pumpkins in that, too, and gourds, if you know what I mean. Ew. <laughs> Cut that out. Cut that yeah, out. Cut that out. <laughs> no, nah, crooked, though. Yeah, oh, okay. we did. Oh, yeah, you know what? What the heck? Here, let, me, let, me, let me pop up and check. Go get us an update. Go get us an update. You'll, you'll smell the food when it gets over here, so... Come on back when you're ready. <coughs> it's been Western weather. It's really, uh, yeah, you, you know. can never count on it. Yeah, I don't you know what it's, it's it. all about. I don't know why you people live here. What about the ice cream? Yeah. I, I personally never tried the ice cream. Have you ever tried the ice cream? You can try some ice cream, man. It's I free, might try free everything. It. It's so a really? This place is open to us today. Wow. It's like our uh, candy land. It's a little local yeah. watering hole. Absolutely. We have everything going. Yeah, oh, yeah. Don't, yeah. Oh, don't walk into the bathroom with that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this show really sucks out there today. <laughs> oh man, this leak is incredible. Good, take, good way to take a whiz. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're afraid of. Yeah. When you're leaving the show, put the mic back on the table, boys. I do like. What, uh, what was that one? This guy? That's, oh, the whiskey. This. that's good. This is a whiskey sour with maple syrup in it and uh, some bullet bourbon. Pretty good. Not bad. Hey, Texas. How's it what going? I'm Tony Stark. Strong. Nice to meet you. I like it better than that one, yeah. That one? I agree. I'm not too much of a sweet kind of drink guy, but it's good. If you... Yeah. I wonder what this rib is all about, actually. Ten six pairs. How much? Ten, what is it? The field goal? Seven six, you said? No, ten six. Ten six pairs. All right. Scored a touchdown somehow. I mean, you guys. Who scored a touchdown? Scored a touchdown? Do you have any <laughs> idea? <laughs> so, so me and Justin. Justin. Who you know. Yeah, Justin. Yeah. We were at the York alumni game the other day, and uh, we were reminiscing over Sean's, touchdown, Shani, Sean's dad. That was the best shit ever. Is that Sean Bowman? Yeah. Seven, yeah. eight, forty, flat. Sorry, Sean. Just slow. You run like a weirdo. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was funny. I'll never forget that as long as I live. This is my, this is my son's bloody-ass knife. Flip that mic. Oh, flip it. Yeah, sir. What, did he jam something in there to try to stop the leaking, or is that like... Uh, yeah, it looks like he jammed a is that a Starburst? in there to stop the bloodletting. No, I but it. it's still leaking. I mean, it's a dude. This stuff was like twelve bucks. No, nah, that's what they do to you. Halloween. That's how they yeah. get you. Purging this year. Well, I mean, if you want me to start uh, having my my uh, corporation, you know, figure out a better bloody knife, I uh, can you sue them for us? Can you sue? Them? What do you guys want me to do? Shut them down. Feeling philanthropy. <laughs> <laughs> philanthropist. Yeah. Philanthropy. Let's see. Let's philanthropy. see where this thing was made. Philanthropist. Stark, Stark Industries. Right? <laughs> it's still like I want to get money to wait. Wow, Stark <laughs> Industries. Instead of no, 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 no. Look at this piece of crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's impossible. You guys, you put a rubber stamp on this guy. Stark Industries. It says it was made in 1980. I don't know, man. 1980. Yeah. That must have. That must have. Uh, yeah. 1980. Yeah. 1980. Yeah. 1980. Yeah. That was off my yeah. desk. I don't know. Probably. Like I said. Like I said. You're gonna have to fire some people. Don't fire some people. You're stuck in that cave. That, yeah, that might have been. Through, that yeah. might have been. Yeah, I wasn't really focused on the uh, toy branch toy yeah. division at that point. Working on building a suit of ice. Yes. <laughs> to save my life and uh, escape from a cave. I didn't really have a ton of time. There's a fucking off button on this clock. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, <good God>. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it <that> back. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
I don't know what they did on this rim, by the way. I was trying to figure that out. It's got to be uh, brown sugar. Maybe it is brown sugar. Brown sugar? Cinnamon. Oh, there you go. Brown sugar, cinnamon. It's not all cinnamon. It's some kind of brown sugar. Brown sugar, maybe with a little bit of cinnamon in there. Yeah. Get a little lick. It's not bad. Which one do you want to try? There's a little bit left in this one. That one's really good. This is an autumn autumn sangria, yeah. It almost tastes like there's syrup on the rim or something like that. You got a mic by you? It's a little thick. Mike. It's That's brown sugar. That's brown sugar. Try to save some turtles, man. Try to Here, save some turtles. Some, this is a uh, what was this one? Jeff? That's the apple pie a la mode. Apple yeah. pie a la mode. Yeah, that just sounds good. I wonder if that'd be good warm too. Yeah, it's very good. I think it'd be a good warm cider. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if they do have any hot drinks on here on these autumn days. Yeah. That'd be a good idea. Get hot in the gut. Get real hot in the gut. Yeah, pumpkin Escobar. Did you guys cut pumpkins? We nope. did. Uh, I carved it with some of my lasers and shit. Oh, you guys carved the bonfire. Yeah, we do have that one sitting up there that I think Justin carved yesterday. You did a nice job yeah, over there, man. You know, did a nice job on that one. Which one is this? I could have done a better job. You can flip around, take a look. That's the yeah, that's the microphone. Shit, yeah, know. no, I I cut mine with lasers. Yeah, it was much better. I did my whole Iron Man basket <laughs> with my that whole, that whole. <laughs> Yeah, you guys don't have any helipads in this area. I had to like. Fly into Elvers Hospital and land my helicopter. Oh, there's no one around here. Yeah, nah, I know. Villa Park didn't drive that yeah. 1.6 miles over here. I, yeah. No, I got an Uber. Oh, yeah, an Uber. Yeah, you I had to pay for an Uber. I tried to. Uh, Did you own Uber? What happened with to the, Sergio, uh, your driver? What is it? What happened to Sergio, your driver? He got sick. He wanted to stay home. He had COVID. Oh. You want to bring him out here? So you were knowingly around until COVID, now you're here? Oh, wait, you have the antidote. Like, it was such a you better vaccine. Why didn't you help him out? I don't understand. Why didn't you? You, so. you didn't share with your driver? No. You just let him get sick. At the end of the day, it's not my responsibility to keep everyone on Earth <laughs> safe and healthy all the time. I'm mean, going to try to kill aliens and hey, stuff. Uh, I, I don't got time for this. Aliens and stuff. You know, I was curious Pandemic. Too. I mean, I was, come watching, uh, I was watching a video on TikTok this morning. It was uh, yeah. about Australia. There was this guy passing notes back and forth between someone in his in his yard, his backyard, right? Because mm. they're still on, like, house lockdown. Complete lockdown, right? It's crazy. Yeah, yeah I don't know. But anyways, I wonder if... It just made me think, like, is this, is Halloween, like, a deal anywhere else? Like, in, in Europe, other countries? Or, like, in Australia? Yeah, do they, like, do all this crap? Oh, that's a good question. I've been in France a few times, right around uh, Fashion Week, but I didn't stick around long enough yeah. for the Halloween stuff. I'm usually Grab back in L.A. Yeah, typically. Eat yeah. cheese yeah. yeah. They dress up for me pretty much anytime I want, so. Right. Oh! Every day's Halloween. Must be nice, yes. <laughs> I know the U.K. does that. Uh, the UK, uh, England. Yeah, yeah, I know they do yeah. uh, their own Halloween. Well, Mexico's got Dia de los Muertos. I think that's yeah. not on Halloween, though. That's yeah. The day of the Cinco de Mayo? Or do you guys don't speak Spanish? Say, say? I don't know. Of course I do. It's in May. <laughs> it's May. May. Yeah, a little far. Oh, it is that? Turn it back on. Let the guys that oh, know what Jesus. they're doing. Well, you would think Tony would know what, what's going on over here with the electronics. It's not my production. I mean, just, how much I'll you want to do? Into this one. <laughs> I mean, I, geez, Louise, you guys call me out here. You can't do everything. It's like, I know. I know. Anyway, it. like I was saying. Yeah. What did you want to say? I was just talking okay. about yeah, some Halloween and other kind of <laughs> Bees. What do we got going on over here? I thought it was too cold for bees. I'm going to tag out real quick. I'm going to see this uh, Bears game. Take a yeah. Whiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know what's going Take on. Take a quick whiz. You're good. All right. There we go. Where's your mic? Get the mic back over here. Oh, okay. Mike will be working with the mics. Actually, Tony back there. Those are new mics. I haven't seen we these. We got these they... wireless boys now, yeah. These are nice, huh? Yeah, they're not too shabby. Very cool. Yeah, Mike's no, in a... no stands. Yeah, no... yeah. Yeah, we'll try to get you close. I feel a lot more free here. Right now. Yeah, yeah, you, you know don't got to move around. You don't got to... Right. Sometimes you got to lean into some... My neck. Items, avocado toast. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. on top, yeah. and you got to mix greens on the side. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what we got. Now, this is something I typically would eat at home. Nice and healthy. Those you are know, popular out in LA. I know. You know, I gotta say oh, yeah. it too. I know. They're little. Uh, wow. They're little heated tables they got here are pretty awesome. I, they actually, they make a big difference, don't yeah, they? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Make you would a think difference. it'd be too cold to come on out, but yeah. you get a spot right here and you're just fine. Yeah. And I saw you guys uh, stole one of those tall heaters for your production tent back there. Yeah, we wheeled it back there. Uh, we might throw it in the back of the truck on the way home too. I don't know. Although they weren't. They, they said everything's free. You know, they said. they're like, yeah, everything's free, right? We might take this too. I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, but they, you know, they said that uh, they're nice enough to have us out Just here. I guess we shouldn't on. steal it's their really No, no, no. I need some of the best walk. At least not right in front of them. You know what I mean? What did you just say? The guac. It's amazing. Really? Is it very good? Oh, very boy. good if you guys want to yeah. try this. Might be some of the best. Oh, I, you haven't had, I don't know if you've tried any. I'll try a bite. Yet. Try it. I'll try a bite. Try your mic up. Don? What about it? Go up?
I don't have it. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. Big. Get it out of the bag. Get it back. Yeah. You guys gotta get your shit together. You know, you know what? You know what I noticed is the block. They don't hold back on the block. You're not paying. Well, you're up. not paying a lot of money and getting a, a small it's not spread like your of guac. Chipotle block. Right. Uh, amount. Yeah, and it yeah, doesn't seem like a mass-produced guac either. It looks it like, a like a fresh. fresh guac. You know what yeah. I mean? This isn't that oldie stuff that some of you poor people order? Buy. What do you guys go to Trader Joe's or Aldi? What do you guys shop at? Uh, you know what? I, if I'm on payday, we go to Pete's Fresh Market. Nice. Okay. Uh, their hot bar, phenomenal. Just about anything you can want. So what is that? You go in there, some. Uh, I mean, it's a buffet. It's and... basically a buffet. buffet. Uh, oh. But I mean, you got uh, different kinds of soups, a uh, whole different type of salads, um, a hot, you know, hot foods. You can find salmon there. Wow. Uh, I mean, chicken, roast beef. I mean, just about anything. Is so, that on California or what? I don't eat at buffets. It's way below me. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they have sushi there too. Yeah. What if it's a Vegas buffet? I only eat buffets of sushi off of naked Japanese women. Oh, so, well, got to be on the table. Uh, that's uh, coronavirus. That might be uh, well, Japanese. Be, that might be uh, an uh, upcoming Asian uh, That might be an Asian upcoming Pacific. episode. <laughs> yeah, upcoming episode maybe. Uh, uh, sushi. Know? Yeah, I'll, I'll set it up. Sushi. Uh, sushi. I mean, I'll get you a sushi lunch here that'll be the tits. I, when I say that, it's gonna be off of tits. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so who's giving us these bears updates? What happened here? Joe, he's probably, something must be good going on right now because he's stuck in the Head middle of fix. it. What is it, half by yet? Day. We got some dogs out here in costumes. Very interesting stuff. I like the dog. Yes. Yes. Put on the inside. We do have some dogs in costume here. I'm seeing a butterfly dog. We're seeing a lot of dog costumes. I see an Obi-Wan Kenobi dog. Also very interesting. Oh. Oh, where's that? People around here are dressing their dogs up. It must be a Midwest thing as well. Maybe just another... dressing their dogs up. Yes, very interesting stuff. Uh, well, you know, th we're on the prairie path here, and you know, people are walking around there with their dogs and stuff. But it makes sense. You have a costume for the dog too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, we're doing right. a great job. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, actually, do you want to sit down for a second? Cody, right, take, 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 take a seat here. No, take a seat here. Sit down here. All right. I can get to sit next to the bloody knife. Is that what? Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, that's oh. real blood, too. Be careful. We didn't test the blood yet. So uh, we have Jack Kozar sitting down. He is the owner of Fuel and Creme here. Thanks again, man. Yeah, no for having us out. My name is Tony Stark. Very nice to meet you. This is the Just typical host, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> right. So give us a little background on how this started and uh, kind of the origin story of Fuel and Creme. Um... Karen and I live in town. We've been here uh, about over 20 years, and this used to be an old abandoned gas station. Right. And we're bike riders, so we'd ride down the path, and we'd look at this place, and it just looked like hell. And, yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. So based on our travels, we saw different places where they took, you know, old buildings and made them into beer houses and yep. did different things to it. So um, made a deal with the owner and uh, remediated the property, kept the two original buildings. Right. And just sit them up. Yeah. So where did you get the kind of the ideas? Did you have other uh, places that you saw that kind of gave you ideas of how to put this place together? Or was it all from scratch? So there was a place on the Monon Trail in uh, Indiana. Okay. Which is outside of Indianapolis. Okay. That they took an old gas station just, and it was a cement block building kind of like this. And they just turned it into a, a beer house where they had like 20 things on tap. Mm. So okay. All they did was beer. Right. Um, so that kind of made us start thinking about this place. Very nice. With the two buildings, you know, we wanted something that, because when we ride our bikes, we go from destination to destination. Right. So we'll ride for, you know, we'll burn a thousand calories and we'll go somewhere and we'll eat 2,500 calories. Right. Of stuff, you know? Right, but, right. Uh, so yes. we thought, you know, we want a place where people, like a whole family can come together. So... Everybody rides their bike down here. Yep. Mom and Dad, Dad's packing the beer. Oh, I lost it years That's ago. That's okay. I lost it when I built this place. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Mom and Dad can have a drink. The kids can get some ice cream. Yeah. You can bring your dog. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we needed a place to have uh, 
food, right? But we weren't going to build a building for food. So originally our concept was we'd have rotating food trucks. Right. But food truck owners, as you may or may not know, kind of are their own breed. Yeah. They want to do what they want to do when they want to do and it. And you can't, or, they're not reliable in that sense. Right. Yeah. Some of them. Some yeah. of them. Yeah. Right. Um, so we had all sorts of issues getting, you know, people on time, showing up when they wanted to show up. And the, the kicker was we had this taco truck that we had out for the first time. They were like an hour and a half late. They finally showed up. They opened their door and a big cloud of pot smoke comes rolling. Get out. <laughs> Get out. And I'm, you know, I have the philosophy, you do whatever you want as long as I don't have to pay for it and you don't have to hurt anybody. You know, yeah. so. I said to him, like, I agree. this is all well and good. Just do it after your shift, you know? Yeah, so I'm... it was one thing after another. And at the end, when we basically, like, opened the gates and let them leave, I turned to Karen and I'm like, we're buying a food truck. Nice. So right, that was it. That we was the last straw. Food truck. Yeah. yeah. So we ended up buying the food truck. And instead of running on propane, we converted it back to natural gas. And we nice. put really high-end equipment in there. So it's more like a small kitchen yeah. rather right. than like a food you can truck. almost taste that I was gonna say, yeah, it's the flavor of the cliche, food stuff but you is, can. Uh, yeah you know so we turn out some real high, high quality end. stuff in yeah. there we built a commissary right down the road so that we can do catering and we can do volume and we've really? got a walk-in cooler you know so the food truck is just the preparation spot yeah and then you know everything else is kind of behind the scenes so okay. did you did you have any idea what kind of scale this would become or did you have at least kind of an idea in mind of where you wanted to take this did you did you we think it was know. right it's, every day we're figuring it yeah, out yeah. yeah did you have any maybe like prior experience in uh developing a property into a i've done a lot of development like okay. um, housing commercial properties things of that sort okay and when i was a kid I owned a, a pizza shop and an ice cream shop. Okay. Um, I How sold. much of a kid? You're talking about? I was 20. Oh, okay. Oh, that's wow. Pretty, that's yeah. a kid. Wow. Yeah. Was that in the family or is that no, something that? Just on wow. a whim. Yeah. Cool. Made a deal 20 with years old. That's a pretty good, yeah. pretty good deal there. <laughs> um, wow. So I had a little background in that. And then, uh, you know, after that, I'm like, I don't want to be in food service. So I sure. went to school and um, I'm an attorney by trade. So I've got a law license. Okay. Wow. And then, uh, you know, just kind of fell back into it. Yeah. Well, you saw it was almost like an opportunity kind of calling a little bit. Yeah. Thank you so it much. It sounds like driving by here or riding by here all the time, you see that there's just so much potential for well, something. in this whole area, there wasn't really anything for families and kids to go yeah. to. Yeah. You yeah. know, and I like Villa Park. I, you know, I, I just recently got elected as trustee for yeah. Villa Park. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, it just kind of ties in. I mean, this is, this is, you can see kind of what our beliefs are. You know, in, the, in what, the community in the community yeah. and what karen and i believe karen's my wife yeah um you know in the sense that we want to bring people together yeah. and you know it should be a community yep we kind of lack that here in villa I, you know what i live i live on down villa i lived here i'm 27 so i lived here my my whole life and uh over the past couple of years it's maybe the past two years it seems like it's developing a little bit more yeah. and more and this was i feel like one of the Kind of the turning points Catalyst. for the community yeah. was, hey, like this has been bringing people together. They right. just had, they just developed that parking lot over there. Right. I mean, more came here, you right. know. So it's the status has just job. really yeah. kind of been growing, and I feel like this, you know, spot, this business has been one of those huge foundations of that. You know, and that, not even to you know toot anybody's horn that. or Thank anything, you. but yeah. really, I mean, if you've lived here Toot for a away. long time, you yeah. can tell. <laughs> you know? He's not going to stop you yeah, right. from complimenting his business. So, uh, hey, there we go. This guy is Cody's brother. Hey, hey Cody's how's it going? Brother, I'm Jack. How you doing? So, what are you? What's your costume here? Uh, uh, like Stan Stark. <laughs> nice yeah. He's a model. This yeah. guy is yeah. a, he's yeah, he's a, a model. TJ Maxx model. He's a model. sit down for a second here. Sure. Come over here and sit down. You're going to try a drink with us. Sure. Toss this on your lapel here real fast for you. Okay. <laughs> now you're mic'd up. Now you're part of the show. We were just talking about how Jack, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's the owner and kind of developed this place. And we, you're my brother. We've lived here for a long time. Long time and how, you know, Villa Park's kind of been growing. And this spot is one of those big changes to that. One of the biggest, yeah. Right. There was more, but then this one really took it off. Yeah, it really took off. It's yeah. different. It's outside, and you know, you never had food trucks around this town like that. Right. Yeah. That's right. And yeah. beer and ice cream doesn't get better than that. Yeah, yeah. Right. pretty much. Yeah. So Bring what is this one called again? 
I, basil what smash, are you drinking? I think, a basil smash? Yeah, I think, is that yeah. what it sounds right? Yeah. Okay. Take, so take a taste of this. I Jake out of this one if you're trying to... Bullet bourbon, <laughs> right. sure, sure. fresh basil. Oh, the pumpkin syrup. A little simple syrup. Okay. Some lemon, some lime. Delicious. Very Do you guys rotate uh, kind of drink menus or do you have staples? Or? We've got our staples. Good, we right? make the best mojito. I do um, like that one. Yeah. Oh, might I would try argue anywhere. Well. Uh, we grow mint in all our planters up here. That yeah, I do oh, like, yes. Really? I've, seen, I've seen yeah. the uh, cool. bartenders and people at work here going around in the middle yeah. of summer picking the basil. Yeah, that was wondering, is that what the salad is yeah. made out of? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this guy's on cherry tomato plants. Yeah. Yeah. That was actually our idea. We just can't scale it enough to yeah. be able to actually provide. But um, Can I try this? Yeah, please. These two outside ones. I think yeah, we grow mint and ones. basil in our planters and... Um, just kind of fun you know it's just that's little super stuff cool that, yeah. again i feel like that's that kind of brings together wow. that idea of community and all that stuff again that you're growing local produce and stuff like that you're picking it right in front of people it just seems like you know uh, what you do at a house uh, your family that's you know, really good it totally cool. makes sense because yeah, almost Villa Park, park the garden village you know, there you go this guy's right. pulling in his right. knowledge of villa park this is great <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about that drink that's smooth it's not too bitter yeah. it's not too sweet it's so if you had to give a one to ten scale with decimal points, what are you thinking of that? I do an eight. An eight, eight even. Eight, eight even. Eight decimal flat. points. Eight are you flat. a bourbon drinker? Or are you? A, I do like bourbon. Are you yeah. a rum drinker? What's your liquor of choice if you're drinking liquor? Uh, if I had to choose, probably bur bourbon or whiskey. Bourbon or whiskey. One of the two. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna let you try this one before we can. Yeah. 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 This was the maple. The maple oh, the maple. Uh, uh, what is it? It's a oh, whiskey the seasonal drink. Uh, sour. 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 Oh, Something like that. Yeah, maple whiskey sour? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's very good as well. Our old fashioned is real good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to, I got to try yeah. the, the old fashioned here. Because lately, I, you know, if I'm going out to dinner, I see the old fashioned. That's my first Everybody's choice. Everybody's drinking the old fashioned. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Back in, before, back in but, style. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. They, I think they went away for a while, right. but uh, people, it's, it's now trendy they're just again. Now Yeah. It's trendy. Right. Yeah. Exactly right. The so, good thing about drinking out of a coffee cup, you don't know what I'm yeah, drinking. Yeah, no, no, no one has any idea. Uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, oh, Jack's just drinking coffee. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. He drinks coffee Neighbor? all day. All day. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. He yeah. loves coffee. He's been drinking so oh, much coffee. He's, he's, it. It. Yeah. he's so jittery from it. You can see he's losing his balance. <laughs> So what's your favorite thing on the menu? If you got to come eat uh, from the food truck here, what yeah. is your go-to? If I eat on the food truck, boy, you know, it used to be lobster rolls. Only, it was very good. I tried Only that. because the lobster rolls are the best. Like when we kind of put the lobster roll idea together, um, I've got family out east, so we needed something that would compete with, you know, what yeah. we're out there. I would argue it's the best lobster roll, and it goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything you're going to have out. In Where are you getting this lobster from? We get all our seafood fresh from uh, Supreme Lobster. Yep. Okay. They yep. deliver every day or every other day, depending yeah. on, you know, volume. But in the summertime, they're here every day. So everything is as fresh as it can be. Yeah. It tasted uh, very fresh. The you only know? reason I say it used to be the lobster roll is I think I've had probably a thousand of them. Yeah. <laughs> After a while, you start to, even, no matter how good it it's is, too you, much get amazing, sick you get sick of it. You know yeah. what I mean? But uh, our house burger is really good because we incorporate our homemade brisket. So okay. we take brisket and we slow cook it for about eight hours. And then you have a, a hand-formed patty. And we take a, a big chunk of brisket and put it on top of that. Mm. Smother it in cheese and onions. And I mean, it's that a... That sounds great. It's a badass burger. Yeah. It's yeah. Like half a pound Jeez. of meat. And yeah, it's Well, you can tell with all the food is there's more that goes into it than it just being something that's kind of mass-produced and, yeah. and yeah. you know, shipped out. A bunch of frozen you know? stuff that you're sitting back yeah, there right. thawing out and popping out. Right. Right. Karen loves yeah. the uh, the fresh crab cakes. Okay. And the uh, they have crab cakes here too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. We've got crab okay. cakes, and then the salmon's really good too. See, that's what's so interesting too is you, it's so so local. Yeah. Um, you know, not a, a large scale or anything yeah. like that. And you you'd think, okay, what do they got? Maybe a, a hot dog. Yeah. You know, maybe you know yeah. a burger or something that like that. Chips and cheese. Yeah, yeah. but uh, we do the cheese curds. There's a and, whole. You know, it's, it's really a place where you can get do it good, a good okay. meal, a quality meal. Yeah. You definitely and can. something that's a little bit maybe outside of what you would right. I expect a, a small kind of joint to be. So yeah. you yeah. got to really come out here to experience it. Oh, yeah, it's a it's a beer and ice cream shop with yeah. a food truck. Yeah. But it's more than yeah. that, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's higher end than that. That's for it's sure. It's a range because the kids can have a hot dog. They can have cheese curds, you know? Yeah. 
but you and know, simple is better for the kids. To be yeah, honest, I was gonna yeah. say really? lobster. Don't, don't, don't eat a ton yeah. of lobster rolls. It's like you're, you're taking out the bacon yeah. bits from the mac and cheese. You're like, I love the idea, but my kid just eats the crap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, you mentioned the mac and cheese like off the charts. It's a homemade yeah. uh, cheese sauce. Yeah. Okay. And it's the little shell. So they shells. hold all that cheese. Yes. 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 It is so good. Yeah. Well, mac and cheese is is. It's, it, it, it's it's hard to make really really good. Yeah. And I think that I, again, I was talking to, I was telling you guys before Jackie came on, just how everything is good here. Yeah. There are some things that are you know, way up there, you know, kind of for personal preference. And yeah. just, you know, hey, this is really amazing because yeah. you like that. But I personally never had anything that is below your standard. Very good. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Glad to hear that. Yeah. You can, I mean, you could mistakenly order the wrong thing, and you turn turns and out to be a new honestly, thing. So. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, exactly right. I, so I was waiting where he was going to go with that. I'm like, all right, let's see how this goes. Well so, played. Well played. And again, I was going to say even avocado toast. I was like, I make my own avocado toast. The amount of like guac or avocado, smashed avocado, whatever you got on there, you're not skimping there. That is. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna get your uh, your superfoods off You're that baby. Get full. <laughs> Absolutely. Gonna, yeah, and what kind of cheese is this? You um, know, I is it not uh, fresh mozzarella. It's called uh, abata. Abata. Um, was that what he said? Yeah. yeah it's like a. Um, it's kind of like a cottage cheese on a mozzarella. I was gonna say yeah, it looks like I mean, fresh mozzarella. Almost, I think it's but... cabata. Is okay. how they call it. Okay. Yeah. It's basically mozzarella cheese, and then there's like a cottage cheese kind of inside, and gotcha. then we slice it. Back. It's delicious. So, yeah. Yeah, real I'm, uh, buttery, real creamy, super creamy. Yeah, mm-hmm. and again, good the stuff. amount of what you're putting on there is good value. I mean, that's uh, it was delicious. Bread is really good too. Yep. Yeah, like a multi grain or something. Whole grain, bread. whole grain. Okay, yeah. Yeah. like a rustic kind of deal. Yeah, so we take a lot of pride. Try this one. Try this one again. This is an autumn sangria, by the way. Oh, it's got a lot yeah. of fruits. Yeah, like that was actually really good as well. And that's been sitting for a little bit. Yeah, so now it's it's marinated. Now you're gonna get all the right now. My favorite drink is. Oh, I like this. Very. You guys want to come behind here and. uh Get on camera really quick with that and get costume. Stand right behind us here, Amy. Come over here. We got to see this. Come over here, too, Caitlin. No, you don't want to jump on camera? Look at this. this yeah, you can start, start murdering here. I mean, I got a lot of <laughs> gadgets and stuff. I'm, I'm very good at <laughs> blocking. Do you want to hold yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got my blast. I'm blaster. <laughs> well, we're going to be doing this costume contest. You're the front runner right now. You're the front runner. That's for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. It looks great. Thank you for stopping by, Amy. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Good to see people go all out. Oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I can tell. That looks great. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. There you go. You were just saying what you're saying right now is the Buena Vista coffee. Okay. I don't know if anybody's been to San Diego. Yeah. It's the they do. Oh, yeah, I live near there, but I get up there every <laughs> once in a while. Yeah. They got a lot of helipads over there, oh, so sure. it's very easy for me to land. Take a nice cup yeah. of coffee, put uh, Calamore's uh, whiskey in there. Okay, yeah. And then froth some heavy cream. Wow. Put that in there, a couple of sugar cubes. That oh, sounds good. Really nice. Wow. Uh, That's, is it's that a morning? Right? That might be my new morning drink. You guys <laughs> knocked the <laughs> fall drink get this coffee yeah, thing out of the park. Down to San Diego. Or, uh, what is it, San Francisco, we go to Buena Vista, it's a bar, and that's basically all they have. They've been there for 100 years, and they just bring out trays and trays and trays. And really? They're just slinging them. Really? Like, you know, bartenders that have been there for 40 years. And yeah. They so they know the deal. Cool. It's pretty cool. That's pretty yeah. badass, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I have a couple of vacation houses over in San Francisco as well, so... Uh, I get down there every once in a while. Well, we appreciate you yeah. taking time out of your busy life. I mean, these guys the called me up. They didn't. Their other hosts wasn't going to join you. Yeah, yeah. No, I was, <laughs> yeah, <try. laughs> I was That's feeling. Okay. I'm here. Yeah, I was feeling very giving today. I haven't done anything like this uh, with commenters in a while. Uh, a commenter I'm still stuck in, I'm stuck in my lab quite a bit. I'm starstruck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's I'm fine. Stuck with the industry That's business. Fine. I'm a big deal. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows it. Save the world a few times. Watching if your kids are trick or treating, stop by Creme. All the kids get a little ice cream cone. How long are you doing that till? What time? Oh, we're just going to do it all day. Okay, cool. You're in costume. Yeah. You're in yeah, costume, you're getting it. Cream. See, that's another cool. the, the community thing. Too, yeah. It was fun. I think we gave over like about 150 little ice cream cones. Really? Out yeah. Nice. With all the kids. It was so much fun. So I heard the weather was here better. Was yeah. Little, yeah. That's the favorite part of my this business. I mean, I, I love fuel. I love the property itself, yeah. but it's so fun to do the ice cream yeah. with the little kids. Yeah. yeah. Brings them all in. All coming up. They're so excited. There's no food. 
like ice cream. They get you that excited. No. Right. Well, that, the best cocktail, and you're like, yeah, this is great. Yeah. But the kids come up for ice cream, and they're shaking. Yeah. And they're, yeah. <laughs> they're getting their fix. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, uh, it's almost like a household name, too, around here. You know, hey, you guys want to ride up to fuel. Everybody oh, knows it now, yeah. Knows it. It's not that it's not hasn't been here that long, but everybody does know it yeah, when you say it. Really, yeah. We just finished our third summer. Yeah. Yeah. At first it was like, let's go to fuel. What's fuel about? Let's check it out. Now yeah. it's like, hey, let's take fuel. Yeah. Everybody yeah. knows what's the, what got to offer. It's great. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's a smart idea that you guys got this out here too. And they were saying Sergio was telling us again that you guys drop this down yeah. tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna drop down the sides or Tuesday. Yep. We're closed on Mondays now that the, we got the fall hours. Yeah, right. And, uh, we're gonna yeah, drop it fun. down. And, we got a couple little electric space heaters. Yep. Air curtains that blow hot air in. Nice. A little mock fireplace that goes. So did you, you temp this thing last year when uh, midwinter? Did you get a temperature in here? The coldest days that are out here can be you know ten below and it's still good sixty degrees. In here. Hell yeah! See and that's what I like. Wind and you know yeah. so it's it's comfortable. Yeah. We do parties all winter long. People yeah. rent it out. You know. Perfect. We have birthday parties. And they that's cool. And baby show. That's We've awesome. Got a couple weddings here, which is kind no of kidding. Fun. Yeah. Wow. Uh, the the normal host Justin, his mother was saying he wanted to do a uh, uh, a party here at some point this winter, so they they might be doing something. I'm going to be in L.A. the whole time, so I don't know. It's my, it's my only day here. But, uh, you got a couple parties yeah, around yeah, that yeah, same yeah, time, so, I'm sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, get, yeah. you guys are not invited to any of them. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's only high pollutant, high, high profile. Yeah. Just... <laughs> so do you guys close at all. any They're time? Is there a certain period that you are closed? No, we we um, kind of condense our hours in mm. the deep winter. So right now we're closed on Mondays. We're talking That's about you said maybe that. closed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday in the winter, winter. Probably. Right. You know, like maybe, dead of winter kind after, of thing. Maybe January, February month might be closed. But okay. I think uh, November, December, we're going to be open. You know, Good. Then. Good. Perfect. And then we kind of close up our technical hours. We close at about 10 o'clock on the weekends. Okay. But, you know, if it's really cold and the weather sucks, we'll close early. Sure, sure. We talk on the roof. We gave it a good try. They won't um, budge, huh? The old board decided that they didn't want to exempt us from parking. So what they did was they gave us a poison pill. And mm. we had plans. Oops. Let's put that back anywhere near your face. It'd be great. <laughs> There you go. There we go. See, there we go. Hey, Beautiful. Can you bring us out a mojito? Thanks. Beautiful. Oh, there you go with the crab cakes. Yeah, we're yeah, going to try some crab cakes as well. Crab cakes. All right. So, uh, yeah, you're so talking about we the, had the plans to put a rooftop deck up. Stairs going up right up there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it can accommodate about 45 people up there. And, uh, you know, it would just be open for a couple months out of the year. Private parties, things like that. And there's this element in town that is watches us and it's on our ass for everything. Right. And they all came in and they complained and uh, planning and zoning. Oh, good stuff. A couple bad elements Great. over there decided we d what it That's is. The poison no. pill is that by right, we could do the rooftop deck, you know, as long as it accommodates fire and safety and building code and all that stuff. Of wow. course, it has to. But because we're increasing the capacity on the property, we have That's to have nice. more parking. And there's no place to park here. No. But there's a parking lot. There's parking on the street. There's parking across yeah. there. And all that brings in tax revenue. But it just doesn't make sense to me. And that's part of the reason why I ran for trustee is that... I was going to say, I mean, it doesn't give you why, any extra pull now. Well, <laughs> it doesn't give me any extra pull, no. and I'm not... I'm not using my position as trustee to try to benefit this property. Yeah, yeah. Right. But what I am doing is I want business to feel welcome in town. And that's what over and over and over I hear from people that, you know, businesses feel like it's an us against them kind of mm. thing. And it shouldn't be. We should be inviting. Incentive to, to come right. here. And if you look at all our surrounding communities, Elmhurst, Addison, Lombard, Oak Brook, they're all thriving. They're all doing ah, great. They've that got one. wonderful we'll downtown. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. But then yeah. we've got little underdeveloped Villa Park. And yeah. why is that? Because the past government hasn't been open-armed, accepting, and saying, business, come in. Yeah. And we've got great, we've got Roosevelt, and we've got North Avenue, and we've got St. Charles, and we've got the Villa Avenue District, the Ardmore District. We've got a part of Addison. We've got so much good commercial property. Yeah. So 
why not maximize those, bring in the tax revenue, and then consequently lower and keep the taxes as low as possible for the citizens, right? Yeah, no, it makes you know? sense to me. And as much as, you know, as a business, as much as you don't want to pay taxes, you're only paying taxes when you're bringing in money. Yeah. You know, so the more taxes we pay, the better off we're doing. Right. Yeah. Right. right. And the village right. should be doing everything to encourage that, not discourage it. Yeah. And put up roadblocks. Yeah. Right. Right. It makes sense. So that's why I ran. As far as the rooftop goes, you know, I'm not going to pursue it for a while. Yeah. Like, let it, you know, let it be. For a little bit. You guys are doing just that, fine. We're, we're doing we just fine. Yeah. And, you know, right. I'm, I'm tired of fighting about it. Yeah. For something stupid like seven parking spots. They offered <laughs> me, get this, they offered me to buy those parking spots on the other side for 10 grand a piece. Get out. <laughs> oh. But if parking. you're not increasing the parking, isn't that just a tax? Yeah. That's so just, it's not like they said for ten grand a piece we can build parking yeah, over right. here. Let's they give you said, existing park. Buy park. existing parking <laughs> and, and we'll let you good. do it. But that's just a tax. Yeah. That's right? a shakedown, yeah, I think so, is what it is. Well, I didn't want to use those terms. But well, you I'm Tony Stark. Can. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. By the way, your crab cakes are fantastic. The sauce is really, yeah. really, yeah. really, really good. Or something? What do you yeah. guys got over there? Yeah. It's well, a secret, but it's good. With the remoulade and with the with the crab cake on the crab cake scale, nine point three. Very good crab cake. Oh, at least. I was very yeah, surprised. Least, yeah, yeah, at least. It's all fresh crab cake. Yes. These I've are given... not pre-made No, cakes, no, right? not at all. You can yeah. tell. I have a home in Maryland as well. They do crab cakes over there. And they, uh, <laughs> it's a freaking crab cake. They, they do a little bit of me. But, uh. Where do you find the time? <laughs> right, right. You know, I, I got to be a lot of different places. The, the suit helps me get places faster. But, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a hero so here, that? right? Take it easy. But I like how it's a simple fork, you can break it off easily. It's not yeah, things to falls get it apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Falls apart. I'm gonna Gentlemen, I'm going to use the washroom real quick and take my time grabbing a drink. Do what you got to do. Give us a Bears update when you come back there, Bears fan. To see if I can give myself a drink, too, as well. Yeah, go for it. So, Thanks for having me on, too. Absolutely. Great. So, Jack, what was the best costume you seen walk around yesterday or today? You see anything? See anything uh, noteworthy? Right. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Jack, good Great you. to meet you. Pleasure. See anything notable walking around? All the little kids in their, their little get-ups are, are just fun. There was one kid yesterday who had a big, uh, I don't know, he looked like a tree almost. He had, uh, it was like a hunting outfit or like some military outfit. You couldn't yeah. even see him. He was all, he looked like, you know, like one of the willow trees or hey, something. Hey, is that a, what's that called, Rob? A ghillie suit? Is that what it is? The was? hunting suits that look like a tree, look like a willow tree? Like yeah. a ghillie suit? That's hilarious. That cute. So is he bouncing around, pretending like he's a little bush, and then moving yeah. around real quick? Right. Doing some, uh, that, some some Scooby-Doo type uh, uh, <laughs> investigation. Uh, that's good. I do like the ghillie suits. The, his dad must be a hunter. Probably. Yeah. So... Again, as far as like the crab here, again, this is Supreme Lobster or where yeah, you get the crab? This is all Supreme Lobster. This is good. Yeah. Yeah, they do a real good job over at Supreme. So you guys, I mean, your menu goes from avocado toast to crab cakes to brisket, sandwiches, burgers. I mean, we do a really nice pulled pork. Pulled pork. We had the pulled Same pork thing. sliders. Real, real slow cook. Yeah. The caramelized yeah. onions on the steak sandwich. Where oh, you did the New York yeah. strip. Yeah, that's nice. The strip sandwich is great. That's a marinated meat. So he shaves it, he marinates it, he lets it sit overnight, okay. and then he takes that meat and then he, he makes it. So Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of delicious. thought, a lot of effort goes into the food. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. Hey, do we still got mics on those two guys that just left? Can you hear those guys right now? We got them up. <laughs> Maybe I need to go track those down in case anyone else wants to sit down here in a second. <laughs> I was just starting to think about it. I'm like... Oh, we're going to have some guys in the bathroom here in a second. And, uh... I'm just... Yeah, we yeah, got to right, right You don't want to hear that. <laughs> yeah. Just seeing if Karen's around, I'd... Flag her over here. To yeah, right. With We're us. probably gonna be wrapping this up here shortly. I think we had a two o'clock out, but we wanted to make sure we were done by. But uh, yeah, why don't we pull some kids in and see what we got? We got the costumes and stuff. Are we, you got those mics sitting around? Might have to bring them back over here and clip them on to some of these kids. Let's see. Let's I'm see gonna can, jump in. The yeah, see if you can grab a couple people. Them and I'll appreciate it, Jack. Yeah. Absolutely. Thanks for coming yeah. out. You're very welcome. Appreciate Thank it. you. Hope to have you guys out again. What do we got here? I think it was for those guys. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So we do have a costume contest going out. If you're out there listening, stop by fifty dollars cash prize. We got Amy over there as the front runner at the moment. 
You guys really sprung and really went all out. You got a fifty dollar cash prize. I, I asked these guys when I showed up, it was gonna be you know a couple of G's. I was gonna foot the bill for you guys. I but uh, giving away a house in Maryland or something like that. I, I mean, I, I did that at my party last night, but that was that was in LA. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So you guys, these, these guys are you know small time and giving away fifty bucks. You guys would have let me know. I would have I would have brought a car or something out here for you. Wherever. Where's my bears update? Yeah. Sergio, take a seat. You got a mic? Oh, hello. You got the mics? Justin, yeah, yeah you stuck oh, around for a while. That's yeah, great. Going. Yeah, you're Thank you. Take care of some things. Eat a burrito or two, you know? So. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get him a mic here. We'll talk to Sergio for a second here. All right. Just is, is it ready to go? Oh, okay, cool. Here, I'll give you this. Thanks. I'll give you a quick clip. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. I, uh, I do uh, a lot of stuff with robotics and stuff. I, I see that. I, you know, technology is very, comes very easy to me. I don't really even need any of these guys. I could have had all my, my bots take care of all this. But it's not because you're Tony Stark or anything. Oh, yeah. No, I, I got a lot of equipment myself. These guys are low level on my standards. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys enjoying everything so far? Everything's fantastic, Beautiful, Sergio. Yeah. I was very surprised by your seafood selections and how... Yeah. Fresh this stuff tastes. Oh yeah. Do you want this last buddy's crab cake? Try this it's out. It's so good. It's yeah, really it's good. Like, Try the know, sauce too. It's the he definitely uses like whole crab. You get like huge lumps. I know sometimes you get like crab cakes other places like very yeah. like there's a bunch of breading down, and no, right here it's like you, you it's can all crab. Yeah. yeah. Straight very crab. good. Yep. Yeah, I was giving it on the crab on the crab cake scale. I think I gave it a nine point three or nine point three. Yeah, it was very good. That's a pretty good one. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it doesn't beat my vacation house in Maryland, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's pretty good. How about your basil smash? What's the scale on that one? That's really this good. This basil up. smash, I, I forgot what I'd given it already, but as a cocktail, I would give that a 9.1. I, yeah. you're, you're up there. Yeah. Everything I've had here, I want to say that I've rated it in the nines. It's very good. Yeah, this is definitely top notch for sure. I love the whole lemon, lime, bourbon going on. Okay. Yeah. And it's basil Hayden? Basil, yeah, muddled basil in there. Okay. Fresh. Okay, it's so really go ahead. Good. What's the, what's so the liquor? So it's lemon and lime, and the yeah. liquor is, a, I'm sorry, bullet. Bullet. Bullet okay, bourbon. Bullet. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that one's real good. What's you said you you go for the breakfast burrito? Yeah, every like, Saturday. Okay, that's that's your that's your go to. <laughs> yeah. What's your go to cocktail when you get time off? Or um, <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's why I go for the basil smash usually. Yeah. But my second one would be our like our fuel mule. It's our take on the Moscow okay. mule. We actually muddle actual ginger in there, so it's like you gotcha. really taste that ginger coming gotcha, through gotcha. really well. Now we're trying to we're doing this new uh, like a, a bourbon uh, mule we're doing right now. We're using Templeton rye. Okay, it's really Templeton's good. Templeton's good. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And I we were talking about too that you guys had uh, you, you pull your uh, basil and some of the mint out of there. Thank you. All right, here's the mojito. Mojito. Oh, Jack was saying he has some of the best mojitos. Mojito. Yeah, you guys said you had some of the best mojitos in the area. I believe so. I've had yes, some good do. mojitos. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see how it goes on the scale. Yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna take a <laughs> drink here. The mint tastes fresh. Oh, yeah. That's very delicious. Oh, that's yeah. very good. Minty. We go to this place called Mojito Bay. Yeah, that's dangerous. <laughs> in Ohio. <laughs> the place in Ohio called Mojito Bay. Uh -huh. I'm going to say that that's better than Mojito Bay's Dang, Mojito. Really good. And they named their place after Mojito. Honestly, that's great. That's damn good. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. guys are very, very impressive here with your food and drinks here. You guys, uh, this isn't some uh, dive bar or... Uh, some throw together frozen food truck over there by any means. This is some high end stuff. <laughs> Definitely, we try to bring something pretty unique to you know in the nice in the suburbs here. Definitely. Absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. just the drink menu alone. I mean, you guys got a lot of different cocktails on here that, again, I don't feel like you could get this kind of variety most places around here. Not especially fresh. I mean, you know, yeah. it's all craft cocktail. Everything's mm -hmm. made from scratch. Something from the simple syrup. We make our own simple syrup. You know, we do everything. Oh, that's that's, all fresh. that's very good. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. Damn good mojito. Honestly, in the summer, we do a strawberry mojito, a strawberry pineapple mojito. They're, oh, wow. Yeah, they're yeah. Going, <laughs> that's dangerous. Yeah. Put some pineapple juice, strawberry puree in there. Oh, yeah. man, that's killer. The booze is hidden yeah, even more. Yeah. Pineapple Absolutely. would get me big. Yeah. Well, this is fantastic. How long have uh, you been pineapple. here? You've been so, since they opened? Or? No, actually, I started in February. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah, um, I started kind of late, and it was really cold. I mean, no one was here. But yeah. honestly, when I walked on this property, I was like, no way I'm getting an interview here. Oh, yeah. You're <laughs> like, pretty excited. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, you, you know, like, uh, it's like kind of hidden over here. Yep. But like, once you come on the property, like, whoa, like, it's actually very nice, the aesthetics yeah. and everything, the lights. Yep. And so I kind of just 
fell in love right away and i was yeah. like do i need to land this job so yeah <laughs> and i did so i mean it's great i love it here it's yeah it awesome. sounds like jack likes it too so you yeah. must be doing a good job I mean, we're doing well together you know absolutely yeah um where'd you work in the a past in the past i worked at a few restaurants downtown my background is mostly culinary okay um i do a lot of cooking so I'm, yeah. i have also my own catering business and sir Mondo's catering cool um i do my own fusion of puerto rican filipino style food. nice are those um, your nationalities it. yeah so i'm oh, cool. puerto rican guatemalan filipino okay yeah yeah um i try to uh, get that in my food but karen over here as well okay nice hey, to meet you karen do we have another mic here let's see if our rob will be able to toss you a mic real quick so yeah, so that sounds like a, a nice little blend yeah. there of, of a couple. I'm of trying to like become like a jack of all trades in the hospitality industry, pretty much. So cool. I think the bar was like my last little tool, my utility belt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Well, it seems like too. I'm sure this is you know kind of fun for you to see how they make some of these foods and stuff, having it a culinary is. background. Super fun. Yeah. yeah, just because again, I, the recipes and stuff that they're doing here is is uh, definitely above average stuff. There. There's definitely a lot of thought yeah. going into these drinks yes. for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Flavor wise. So the Jack's wife, Karen. Thank you for coming out. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for being here. This is wonderful. Absolutely. This is super fun. For all the design ideas. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, it's her eye and her concept of what looks good and how to, you know, put things together. So, yeah. I think she's done a great job. It looks great to me. So, <laughs> what was some of your inspiration and stuff that you're pulling this from? Um, trying to use the existing buildings was a little bit difficult yeah. but um just trying to cover but make it look very backyard-esque yeah uh friendly uh kid friendly i think you've nailed that yeah. Yeah. nailed it <laughs> um but you know i had a couple people in my mind when doing the design and that was grandpa with the little grandchild walking down the path yeah um and just coming in grandpa could get a beer the grandchild could get an ice cream yep um for uh, a mom, maybe, or a wife that's uh, wanting to throw a party, doesn't want to have it at her house, yep. you know, we could extend out. They have the means to do it. Um, and then the last one was um, just kind of the big burly guy. <laughs> try some of the craft beers, um, bring their friends, uh, sit by outside, and have it be year-round. Yeah. So that, you know, um, they could... Yeah. enjoy themselves whether it's inside or outside right yep when i first saw this place i thought i was like oh they must you know uh just close the whole thing down in the winter time and then to find out you guys drop all the stuff down and heat this place i mean it's brilliant yeah. and outside you know we yeah. got some hardy people oh yeah it's yeah, it's, like, <laughs> it's a nice way of putting it i like that seriously you put on your cute yeah. scarf I've become more hardy yeah. <laughs> cute scarves mittens cute boots where yeah. else can you wear them to so yeah. you just come on the patio with your friends and yep. you know have a, a mini party yeah there's together. always days in uh december and january where you get that 40 degree nice warm winter day too it's a little more comfortable it's not always polar vortexing around here yeah. we've had, so uh we've had uh bicycle people in the winter come in you know and just stand outside and yep. just kind of do some fast drinking yeah absolutely <laughs> Lord, actually. Good place. yeah keeps oh you warm gosh. while you're moving your you know you got to get your uh your, your gears churn in there definitely so uh yeah that always helps i need to make sure that when i ride down the prairie path that i have some cash on me you know we do so, apple pay yeah do apple pay yeah, now we're you talking go. You guys have thought about it all, yeah. <laughs> well, we're cyclists, so we know, you know, like what you got on your We have, yeah, we have USB ports um, over on the other end. JNR Cycle has donated. Um, I don't know if anybody took you around, but they donated some uh, bike. They got like all the basic tools and an air pump. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so that. Brought up air pump for you. Anyone to use and yeah. all the basic tools. I don't know. Are we able to pick up Jack when he's talking? Are you grabbing him at all without the mic on? Are you able to hear Jack much? Okay. Maybe get a little, to stay, get a little closer to camera. Can you hear me now? Should have right. brought the mic stand for all the other people. Yeah. <laughs> But um, so because we're cyclists, um, you know, we can appreciate when people are coming off the path. So that's another um, in my mind, you know, when we were doing design and drinks and everything, you know, who would be coming on the patio yep. um, so that they can just come as they are. Yep. You can be dressed up from a party coming yep. here and you can be in your um, cycling clothes, yep. jogging. You guys have thought about your audience quite well here. Yeah. 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 You know, it really suits everybody. So. Yep. 
No, you've done a great job with the ambiance and everything else out here, making it feel like it's part of the neighborhood and just very inviting. You know, it's uh, the the host here. You live right down the block with your six year old. <laughs> you tell me you walk down here all the time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> First time here. Yeah. Oh, yep. We get yeah. that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the normal host. He keeps popping in and out. This is Justin Peacock over here. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Justin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they flew me in today, Tony Stark. You probably recognize me from all the movies. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, yeah, it's a helicopter. Well, that. I don't fly myself. Oh, no. I, I didn't want to wear the suit. A suit is just it, too much fanfare. Uh, Creates just a, too big of a, you know, a thing. We want to keep this lower key today. So, yeah, I just right. got the heli. They, the only helipad close to here was on Homer's Hospital. So, I flew into there. You know, jogged over the prairie path, yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah. Prairie path, I'll get a little exercise in yeah. before I get in here. I had to get a little work on it, for sure. <laughs> my favorite thing so far, though, that I think I've tried is the steak sandwich. I think that that oh, yeah. so far has been my favorite thing. But, I mean, all the food's been really good. And then the, the seafood, like I said, has been very impressive. How fresh that tastes mm -hmm. for me oh, here in the Midwest. And uh, getting that kind of quality seafood. So, yeah, very impressive stuff, for sure. Actually, if you, I hope you guys got room because I got a braised short rib and mashed potatoes with burnt lace sauce. Yes. Too, so. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. 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 Let me go check on that. <laughs> All right. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah. 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 Throw that. Maybe throw the mic over to Jack there. There we go. Put it on, on your sauce. Yeah. Oh, Sergio's. Oh, Sergio. Oh, yeah. This is. Yeah. This? Yeah. 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 It's gone already. It's gone. Absolutely. I was saying before you sat down. Yeah. I was saying before you sat down, I got a place in Ohio called Mojito Bay. And they're like known for their mojitos, and I think this is a better mojito than what they're serving over Heck there. Yeah. So it's very good. When they, we travel, that's what we typically order. So that was the. You first knew you thing. had to have a good one. We had to have one on the menu because that yeah. just goes well. Yeah. Know, for any type of weather, so. My yep. favorite mojito story is we were in Cuba a few years ago, and we're at this restaurant, and we, they don't do quite the same service. Uh huh. As they do in the states, so we ordered a mojito. We're having dinner. Server comes by, and we're just about done with our mojito, and we're like, "We'll have another mojito." He's like, "No problem." And we watch him. He goes outside. He has a cigarette. He talks to a couple of his buddies. About ten <laughs> minutes later, he walks past ours and he goes, "Mojito." And then he goes up to the bartender <laughs> yeah. and gets the mojito. Yeah. It's a star face there. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know. Like, I love it. You'll be fine in 20 minutes when I get that mojito. Yeah. They want to keep their seats filled. Right. Yes. Yeah, right. that makes sense, actually. Yeah. If you work slower, then people have to stay longer, right? Right. And it looks busy. <laughs> right. And where sense. do you have to go, right? You're sitting. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're, you're having good anywhere. food. You're having a drink, you know. We learned. Settle it We down. ordered two at a time. That's so yeah. we doubled up. This is a pro move. Four, four per yeah. order. <laughs> right. I can tell you have traveled and been to a couple <laughs> restaurants. This is a very uh, pro move for sure. What is uh, what's your go-to cocktail when you come out here? What's one of your favorites? Oh, they're all my favorites. Um, it's like saying which is your which child is your favorite? No, come on, give us the. Real I life. would Everyone's say right now child. with this you know menu, with this menu, uh, the bourbon maple sour. We tried it That's already. What, it was yeah, very good. Have. Yes. For like this weather, you know, it depends on kind of my mood, who I'm with, if yeah. I'm able to sit and kind of have Converse, conversation yeah. uh, rather than Running getting around, up and doing, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> doing things. Um, but the bourbon maple sour right now, the um, harvest sangria, you yep. know, is, Tried is that as well. really refreshing. Um, and then something on the sweet side would be the apple pie a la mode. Also credit. Very good. Yes. Did you try it cold or warm? Cold. Cold. Yeah. Okay. Because you, you can order. Yeah. You can order that warm. We were uh, wondering if you had any warm drinks. Yeah, that's... yeah. So as it gets colder outside, yeah. we'll start, start you know, advertising them that way. But right now it's pretty refreshing, but it gives you just that little bit of um, the season. The creaminess. Yeah. No, yeah. Your, your fall inspired drinks have all met the mark. I mean, it's all. <laughs> Every one of them when we tasted them, it was like, okay, well, this makes sense why you're putting this on the menu right now. Get a lot of the apples and the pumpkin flavors. And, yeah. And fantastic. had to have Guinness on tap. Out. Had to have yeah. Guinness Is on that tap. just the fall or that's all? That's all year all long, year long. Yeah. along with all of our other craft beers that we rotate. Yeah. But we have some uh, solid ones, the Guinness, um, the Stella. Okay. Um, is there anything else that we have that's 
constant. I think Guinness and, those and Stella two. are always. Those two, and then we just rotate about, as they come in. Yeah, and two, is that local, local stuff? Or? We try to keep it local. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, and then it's just like what's available and what we don't have on, but we try to hit everybody's palate. Gotcha. So that, yeah. again, if you bring your friends, you know, they can get yeah. what they like. Yeah, they're not sitting there saying they want an IPA and you don't got anything to offer or something like that. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's, again, it seems very well thought out. You guys have really uh, included everybody. You know? We just started Trying working to. with a company called Pilot Project. And what they, they're basically a distributor for a bunch of small like startup. home startup craft brewers. Gotcha. So they all distribute through Pilot Project. And it's really neat. They have a lot of good different beers that, you know, are just kind of out of the ordinary. People are really passionate about that they're making and playing with and trying different things. So yeah. bringing a lot of nice, fun stuff on, onto the patio. That's and what cool. I understand about their facility is that you can rent space to make and create your beer. Yeah. In, in larger batches. Okay. And I don't know if they do the canning there or not, but... Yeah, yeah I think they um, do everything. Now. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it was... When they came on the patio, we're like, we're all about entrepreneurship yeah, right. and getting people, uh, you know, recognition. And we did a uh, patio takeover. And um, uh, where we feature here on the patio and we have some tappers outside, uh, okay. I think we can do up to five. So along with our regular menu, then we'll um, add on uh, so, know, a focus, a featured uh, brewery. In this case, it was uh, four or five different breweries. Okay. So what we do is we have one of the, the beer kegs, you yeah. know, like we have inside the tapper kegs, uh -huh. and we roll it outside. <clears throat> And one particular brewery will come on and just promote whatever they have in their tasting room or whatever they want to do. And we'll just, you know, focus in on that brewery. So it's kind of fun. It's like a brewery tour, but it's here. Yeah, we're here. They're yeah, here to sure. answer questions that you might have. They always or... have kitsch and hats and shirts. And, oh, you yeah. know, it's you fun. meet the brewers, you meet the owners. And, you know, it's, Pretty it's cool. kind of fun. You yeah. remember some of them by name? You want to shout anybody out? Well, oh, phase three. New, phase three has been here. New Whistle's been here. We just did Pilot Project. Uh, Pollyanna. The one in Itasca, which is Church Street. Uh, Church Street. Yep. You do a really nice Martin, by the way. I haven't tried their Martin. Oh, though. yes. It's amazing. We had that yeah. uh, did you? last year, I think. It's hard when to they... get. They don't do a big uh, batch of that. Actually, yeah. that's the one brewery that showed us how to pronounce that word. Martin. But you have to. Or... Oh. Hi. Yeah, I, I probably am going to fumble it up. Especially not on uh, TV. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but um but i thought they were just called oktoberfest beers until someone told me it was martin really yes. yeah but i might still be mispronouncing this but yeah who knows no one uh ever thank you so much i appreciate it no one ever uh corrects me because i'm tony stark so sorry he's usually pretty how, how intimidated come? nobody <laughs> told me that when they put the mic on me don't correct him <laughs> yeah i don't like to be handed things either typically but today i'm making exceptions you know i don't Typically, I, I can throw it at you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that was the reason. They all said, just let him go on his things. It's fun to watch him fumble along. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> no, there's, there's purpose behind understand. this stuff. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so what was this one again? That is the sangrita. Sangrita. Yeah. Sangrita. So little, half uh, margarita. Go with me. Oh, there's a couple shots here. Half margarita on the bottom, and then they float the red sangria on top, and then just add in some fruit. Justin, you said you'd try this ring sangria. Thank you. What's your half? Yeah. Thank you. You said you liked it a lot. Oh yeah. I'm the red sangria. You've been over here with your daughter, and you said you tried it. Oops, sorry. Before. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, right before the show, Justin was telling me that he comes here with his daughter and drinks the red sangria, and uh, really likes. it. Tell me you to take her for a walk. This little blend of the two here is delicious. This is very good. Yeah. Someone asked us if we had it. So, you know, we listen to any of our guests that come on that yeah. are requesting things. Um, that Smart. one particular, and then they told us what it was, and so we tried it, and then we added it to the menu. Um, the other one was a spicy uh, margarita. Okay. And because, you got some you jalapeno know, or something in there? Yeah, yeah, she said Ooh. it's simply jalapeno. So we ran to the store, got some jalapeno, yeah, you're like, cut it. That can be done very quickly. Yeah. And I'll be right back. more yeah. women order yeah. the spicy margarita, yeah. and more men are uh, inclined to order. We have a jet fuel. Okay, That's kind that? of a fruity summer 
uh, kind of tropical drink yeah. and or the uh, red sangria like you like that's a little bit sweeter it's it's just kind of you know something i wouldn't have thought about but more yeah. men are more on the sweeter side if they're doing a cocktail and the women they want that that spice, spice really? See, i yeah. wouldn't have known this it's, a, it's an interesting dynamic there yeah so if somebody comes on with an idea same thing as uh with that apple pie a la mode yeah. It was a gentleman on the patio. He said, hey, do you have that warm? And we said, we can do that. Yes, That's first thing I thought. Yeah. 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 So we did, and uh, it sold real well. So That's a, a good little segue into this, too. Bonfire Banter is always uh, encouraging people to tune in. And if you got an idea for an episode, you want us to come out to your business, uh, you want to come out on an episode, sit down, talk about a topic, talk, let us know, talk to Justin. He'll take care of it. Uh, you can also contact Mike the Andrea, aka Tony Rigatoni, and uh, Tony the mechanic back there as well. We got the, the Tony Trio out here today. Uh, call them, reach out to them if you're looking to do an episode or want to talk about anything on air. We would love to have you out and do something similar to this anywhere you guys would like or at our home base in the backyard. Probably. So, uh, beautiful fire table you guys out here too is really accommodating for. For the set, it's pretty warm. You guys already had the, the fire table ready to go. We didn't have to bring uh, out their bonfire fire. table. Yeah, we didn't have to bring that out here. So that was very uh, made it a lot easier today. You know, but as far as the rest of today, do you guys got any more plans for you guys hanging out here the rest of the day? What are you doing? Yeah, we'll be here. The trick or treaters are coming from three to eight. Three to eight, Bill Parks hours. Uh, three, yeah. Yep. And yesterday we had um, the business district in this area from I think it was one to three, okay. uh, noon to three, and yeah, it was packed. Yeah. Every chair was taken, so yep. it gets busy at certain times. Justin City came by here and bought some pumpkins yesterday too. Yeah. And, uh, awesome. Yeah, it was very true. The pumpkins are like, great. It's a little collaboration bike, we do yeah. with the Boy Scouts. Yeah. Um, we don't make any money off the pumpkins. The Boy Scouts buy all these pumpkins, they put them on the patio, and then they sell them as a fundraiser. Beautiful. So every year they make a few thousand dollars off selling pumpkins, and yeah. it's great. Yeah. It's, it's good for them. We like having them. So it's I heard great people for... talking about it today that they couldn't find pumpkins anywhere else in the area. Yep. And then they're like, are oh, they selling these? I was like, yes, they're selling these. Nice. Talk to the guys over there with the, the Boy Scouts. So yeah. here, I think you're one of the only places in a surrounding area that actually has pumpkins yeah. still to buy. Nice. So that's yeah. good. Yeah. Hey, you need a pumpkin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Get a pumpkin. Yeah. Uh, that's good, though. And it's another community thing. that You guys are staying on your uh, mission statement or your, your whole goal of bringing people in and uh, making this a community thing by bringing the Boy Scouts out here and letting them set this all up so i'm sure they're very appreciative of that as well yeah they lost their old location that was at a church and then actually they approached us and we were like sure yeah um so it's, like it's our decorations third, our third that. season yeah. so that's funny very because fun. someone yeah. last year said what's your pumpkin budget yeah and i like, said wow Not actually well, wow. zero it's so great you know yeah. um but it does it makes for great photos for people yeah. Um, and the kids, you know, they'll redecorate while they're here. It keeps them busy. Yeah. yeah right now, there's a group that's over there, and they have like 20 pumpkins. And they're just in the back plane, and <laughs> nothing can happen. So yeah, you know, great. The parents can sit and have more beverages, more food. Yeah, you're running about the pumpkins. More uh, yeah. conversations. So. Absolutely. Yeah. This place is set up perfect. I want to see what the bears feel like at some point here. Looks like it might be 15 to 16. So you guys bears here are doing pretty good. Wow, that's my, surprise. My LA Rams here, are, uh, they're pretty good as well. <laughs> oh, they are pretty good. Yeah, I, I got a, a box at the LA Stadium. I Jeez. bought like half of, you know, half their budget really came from me. Yeah. But, you know, I didn't really like the two by the board much. So I don't really talk about uh, it. How do I shut you off? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Send me the components. Be very careful with it. It's glowing. <laughs> yeah. It, that's my heart rate. Real deal. That's how I keep the straps a lot so of my heart. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, some people make these things, uh, you know, from yeah. going to Joanne Fabrics and stuff like that. They just piece these things. This is the real one, obviously. obviously. But, uh, Pray, yeah. not Joanne. Some people sit down with tissue paper and make it look blue and then draw it all in and make it look really good. <laughs> Again, this is the real one. Hey, can, you, can you charge your phone off of it? Say it again? Can you charge your phone off of it? Oh, absolutely. I just got to get it close, actually. Anywhere in the anywhere in the realm. Yeah, you don't need a cord. Actually, most of the electrical 
And here today is off of this. It's powered by him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I turn this thing off, everything surges. Who needs solar when you got Tony? <laughs> yeah. It's nice and easy for everybody. I, I'm a giver. I'm a giver. So. <laughs> I got an extension cord. Where do I plug that in? Yeah. No, no, you don't want to know. <laughs> Uh, so I think we've tried almost everything on your uh, cocktail list. That's you guys want to try some of this? That's no, oh, yeah. mojitos are fantastic. Oh, Damn good. Just right. Yeah, yeah the mint is again, how a mojito should taste. Yes. Yeah. You can be able to taste the mint. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> it's a lot of people. I've had a lot that are just good. I, I yeah. agree. I feel like a lot of what you like do, a lot of simple syrup. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Because we can shoot more soda on the top. We put a little bit of soda, and then it uh, refreshes it up a little bit if it's too strong. No, I think he's... Okay. Tony the mechanic really likes strong Okay. Things. He's going to... Not a problem. You're, you're, you're pleasantly yeah. surprised. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Like That's fresh. good. I, I guess when I say strong, I mean fresh. Good. Very powerful. Yeah, you can taste all the different flavors in there, and it's uh, like I said, it, I feel like places that do mojito just because they got it on the menu. Uh, there's not a whole lot of mint in there. Right. Uh, there's a, maybe too much simple syrup. It's a little too sweet. Mm -hmm. um, and, and yeah, and again, this is where you're tasting all the things you're putting in there. You're tasting the mint, and it's probably has something to do with how fresh you guys are you know, keeping that mint. Mm -hmm. It's that, and then muddling it. Yeah, you have the to proper muddle muddling instead yeah. of just shaking it. Um, it's not going to do much. Shaking doesn't do a whole lot no. to the actual leaf, yeah. but bringing out the oils yeah. um, is, is that important. What is it is oils? The oils in the mint okay. leaf, and they come up to the surface and gotcha. kind of blows up. Yep. Yep. It's, uh, <laughs> you can definitely tell it. It's done right. That's for sure. So, very impressed again. Uh, well, who's your DD? Because if you tried everything on the menu so far. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going to be what? walking around. Tony Stark. No. You can fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's for. It's, <laughs> yes. it's if he goes this exactly. way or that yeah, way, it uh, keeps great. him yes. vertical. Yes. yes. Uh, vertical I, I, is good, I, I, see? Yeah. It's vertical but upside down V. So you're, it's actually a You're v. understanding now. You're, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> you're figuring it all out. No, we're all going to be walking around the streets of Hill Park today. I brought my daughter out here all the way from L.A., flew her out with me today. We're going to be walking on the streets of Lombard, or streets of Villa Park, mind you. Uh, streets of Villa Park. Who even knows what tell we're anymore? One I we're going to be we don't even know where we're walking around. We actually are going to be in Lombard. My brother lives over there as well, so we're going to be in both towns. But uh, we are walking down Villa Park, um, Perfect. checking it all out. Yeah, we're going to be taking in the, uh, the whole town and the whole feel of everything here. Awesome. So we, we got the full experience today. So I'm going to be able to walk all this off at some point. Perfect. I think the food at some point, too, needs to be walked off because I'm getting full as well. So Have you tried any desserts okay. yet? I have. Uh, I don't think so. I think some dessert drinks, maybe, that we've tried. Okay. But, uh, well, you know, that we apple pie all mode was very ice dirty. Ice cream. Yeah. And then for adults, we can also add a little Chambord or rum chata to anything that we have on the um, yeah, creme side. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Lots of walking. Yes, it's got to be a lot of walking. Yeah, <laughs> Walking back to L.A. <laughs> that might be how long it's going to take to walk on this side. <laughs> uh, as far as the ice cream, where you guys get this in from, or what do you, you know? Yeah, we have one distributor that we work with um, okay. that's pretty local, but they will bring in different companies. Okay, yeah. Yep. Cool. But um, one thing that we are known for, we have two machines um, one is a dairy-free machine. So oh, we wow. always have two flavors for all the lactose intolerant. Yeah. Um, they happen to be fat-free as well, and we can blend them. So a lot of times we'll, we kind of always try to carry the pumpkin, or sorry, the pineapple, dull pineapple. Okay. Uh, swirl. That's the flavor is dull pineapple? Is, is yeah. dull pineapple. Oh, really uh, dull oh. makes it. And then we'll put like their raspberry with it or their cherry, and then yeah. you can swirl it. Yeah. So it's vegan. So a lot of people can appreciate that. Um, You're that still are, on brand with all your stuff that, here. Everybody, everybody you know, can come and eat ice. That machine yes. is just for that person. You yeah. know, for somebody that yeah, wants there's something a lot of refreshing. That are vegan and uh, gluten free and all that stuff. It's yes, yeah, it is gluten free. And then the other machine is the exact opposite. Yes. So it's gluten full. 
It's yeah. gluten milk, <laughs> chock full of lactose. Yes. It is, good ice cream. It's yeah. actually custard. Mm -hmm. So it's a step up from ice cream because it's got a higher fat content. Is that just made it creamier and more yeah. delicious. And more, more delicious. Fat, it was more delicious. Today. And, that's, butter fat. Yeah. Yeah. and that's your They're classic um, vanilla and chocolate. Okay. So then you can swirl it. Yep. Uh, then we have scoopables. So okay. we have Superman that's really big in this area. Blue Moon that's really big. Okay. Um, but we'll do like butter pecan for Grandpa. Yep. Um, and we have rainbow sherbet. We have uh, uh, Italian lemon ice that nice. will rotate with mango. Okay. And that's another gluten free. Mango's a nice flavor as well. Yeah. And um, <laughs> lactose free. Yeah, it's a good husband. <laughs> Um, and then we have different flavors that we just bounce in and out, like a Rocky Road or yeah. uh, chocolate. You got a lot of toppings over there too, right? Lots of different That's, toppings, yeah. definitely sprinkles. Kids like the topping options. They love the toppings. Yeah. And then we have some fun things that we call cookie, like Cookie Monster. It's blue ice cream with little eyeballs on it and little. My daughter got it. Chocolate sprinkles for the it. hair. Yeah, right. they love yeah, it. She was all over the the Cookie Monster. Yeah. Yes. Um. So we just try to, you know, change it up a little bit. We're carrying now for this weather a panini um, oh, yeah. that has ice cream inside, so it's warmed. A panini? A panini. It's a brioche ice cream. one. And then uh, we put the cold ice cream in there, and really? we've got a basically it's a panini maker. Right, it's a panini press that. or something. Yeah. Yeah, and it clamps it down so you've got like a hot biscuit hot sweet biscuit really with ice cream inside i have never tried it super like good it's um a product by pre-gel is okay. the manufacturer and they I'm sell these impressed. mainly in um italy a woman huh. had come on and we knew this but um she said i've not seen these anywhere but yeah. italy so we'll put anything in there. What, the press that they haven't seen anywhere? Or the actual pocket? The actual with the pocket. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. I've never even heard of that. Press. Yeah. The press is actually. And I've been all over the world. Okay. <laughs> yep. Um, but we'll put anything in there. But right now yeah. we're doing like vanilla with strawberries. Okay. We're doing Nutella. Nutella is always a, a crowd favorite. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we can do something kind of like fluffernutter. Okay. Yeah. So we have peanut liquid butter, peanut fluff, butter yeah. and we have fluff. Okay. With vanilla ice cream. Um, but whatever yeah. you can think of inside of there, we can put it all together. And if anyone can think of anything else, come tell them about it. They'll right. probably throw it on the menu. We'll give it a from shot. what they're telling right. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Different flavor profiles. You got to keep it fun and new and, you know, ever changing. I feel like that's. You know, one of those old sayings is that when you're green, you're growing. When you're ripe, you're rot. You know, as soon as you think you got it all figured out and you, you stop being creative and you stop changing things, that's when, you know, yeah. you go down. But the fact that you guys are constantly thinking of new ideas, that's what keeps us fun. That's what keeps people wanting to come back and go, what are they doing now? What are they doing this fall? You know, they, you know that's, that's awesome. Yeah, so you guys are going to see continued success because of that constant uh, you know, willingness and yeah. openness to change things and try out new things. Yeah, know? and to listen to what people yeah. have had or would yeah. like to see or whatever, you know, we run across. Yeah, but, um, that's awesome. We're working within a small little space, so we feel like we have to rotate see, certain oh, things in the, inside cram. Inside. I was going to say, because this isn't that small of a space, the whole space, but yeah, inside cram. Inside to yeah. keep everything um, uh, in a freezer setting for okay. ice cream. Yeah. You know, we're limited, so we like to rotate. Yeah, absolutely. What, what, is, what is this? Thank you, Peyton. A fuel mule. mule. Uh, All right, someone's got to help me try this one out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's get another straw over so here. So let us know if you really catch fresh that ginger. fresh ginger that's been that's mulled. That's what Sergio was saying. Instead of doing fresh. the ginger beer, we we, mu we muddle fresh ginger. ginger. So there's and no ginger? Is the, there ginger beer in it? There's no ginger beer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So go on. So, we muddle fresh ginger, again, simple syrup, little lime, um, and we put the vodka like in there, it? muddle it with the vodka. Yeah. It's a lot more ginger than your typical um, mule. That's why we call it the fuel mule. It's better. The ginger does come through yeah. way stronger than a normal. Isn't that good? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting bigger. It's just Tony Stark. You know? Yeah. Please don't hand me that again. That would be great. That would let me hand it things. Uh, <laughs> Hey, uh, Tony Rigatoni, do you want to try this? Tony's busy right now. You're a little busy right now. It does look like you're a little busy. You're one of my robots to do with those. I got some robots in the, in the, in the helicopter over there. Pull them out here. They can do all the things you guys are doing and probably more efficiently. No, he's busy so. screwing up the camera. <laughs> so when you guys, again, when you're making these menus, are you just like, 
every cocktail that I've ever seen in anything. I'm gonna, we're going to put it on the menu. We're going to make it better. Is that like the most seconds? The fuel, the things that we enjoy. Yeah. The fuel, fuel is like. something, yeah. um, we just changed the name, obviously, yeah. but um, it is Moscow. something, yeah. right? It is something that we order when we're out. Well, yeah. So that with the mojito and the basil smash is another one that's really popular. If you haven't had that one yet, did you we try have. it? Okay. And that was Sergio's favorite. And yes. uh, I know, I don't know if they tried it back there, but the, that was really good as well. That's really so what do you think about this, Rick and Tony? That's really good. Yeah. yeah. I'm you not ever, like, you ever had a Moscow beer before? Yeah, yeah. That's what I drink yeah. at Rob's house mostly. Thought, yeah. This is definitely better than what Rob makes. You say that they're muddling the ginger in there. I mean, they're doing it the right way. Yeah, that's legit. Some, yeah. some uh, jewel brand ginger beer. That's what Rob They're throwing in there. Yeah. It's the real deal. What do you got, Mo? You got a couple people for the, for the costume contest. Perfect. Nice. So you guys said you're giving away a couple thousand dollars? <laughs> No, what you guys give it away? You bought the 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. You guys really went all up. That's great. That's all we got. You guys got a huge budget here on Bonfire Branches. That's great. Listen, (laughs) half of these clothes aren't mine. Oh, jeez. What budget do we have? (laughs) The only thing I brought was the chest here. And that's not even that. That's real. That's, yeah. Wow, that's good. But I trimmed it it last week to be, you know, (laughs) presentable. I'm wearing my Sunday best. I got the shoes. Yeah, that's very nice. Come on, I really tried. Work on this one. These can be taken out of your pocket. What, the chest here is yours, too? Toes, too. All right. Ten minutes for that. All right. Cool. That'll be, yeah. Break that out whenever you guys got a second. We're going to do this costume contest shortly. We'll go from there. One minute, you said? Wow, you're very sharp with your times. One whole minute. So. Would you uh, like me to make you a panini? Absolutely. We'll keep taking anything you want to give us. Tell me what what flavors that you like, and then I'll just put something together. We can tell you, Mike. I've had too much food. I want you to know. No, you're going to eat. I need options. Italians. You guys need options. options. Yeah. We've got um, Nutella. We have caramel. Yeah. It's called a creme witch. Okay. We changed it up because our name is creme. Um, so we can put Nutella, caramel, chocolate sauce, fluff, like a marshmallow, uh-huh. uh, peanut butter. Um, I would do the vanilla and uh, Nutella. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. You like There's it? a little peanut butter in there too. Yeah. 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 Now we're talking. All right. Thank you so much. I'll appreciate be back. it. Yep. For sure. So, I'm curious to see what other costumes we have here because I think that I think that Amy's going to win this thing with her uh, Pennywise over there. I think that's the, I think that's going to be the the winner. But well, maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe someone will come up and uh, might be the dark horse. Right? That's, that's, that's my mom. Saying she's got some contestants. I'm like, I don't know how many people we got going here, but um, Streaker might win it. <laughs> you guys got bail money? Or, yeah. yeah. You got to use the 50 for the bail? We're not going to pay the whole thing. Yeah, cool. <laughs> One of the paninis. Um, oh, that's good. At least we got some kind of contestants. You know, yesterday it was a little nicer out here. Huh? It, it was. Yeah, it was beautiful. But I think this is going to clear up. If it is looking like it's starting to. 3 o'clock, it's going to be. Yeah. All this is going to blow over. It's kind of looking like that. I'm starting to see some blue sky peeking through here in a couple spots, but at least it so didn't. Could uh, be worse. I mean, yeah, we didn't get rain. Snow or snow. Snow. Yes. And, yeah, rain and everything else. Yeah, so. I heard two years ago here in Villa Park, you guys got some snow. Yep. Yes. Yeah, we did the trunk and treat over in the uh, parking lot. Yeah. Beautiful day, and then right at the end, it just started raining and snowing. Yeah. And it was terrible. So we did get lucky here. Yeah. yeah. As much as we think it's yeah. it's a little chilly out here, but this fire is actually. Again, I feel like fire tables aren't going to give you the kind of warmth you're looking for, but this thing actually this is doing is a pretty good Western job. Chicago. Oh, yeah. Right here. Yeah, this is uh, Indian summer from what we're getting right now. This is uh, this is nice weather for uh, Halloween. October yeah, it could be a lot worse. Huh? It's a little windy, but, you know, it's not, not bad. bad. We'll take it. We will take it. I think it. we need to build one of these. Yeah, we need to get a fire table out there. Yeah, yeah. Get up for, for the back of the tent. We might you know? need to talk to Justin over there. I don't know. But Stark Industries, maybe we'll uh, donate something for oh. you guys. I don't know. I don't know if I got enough time. You guys are pretty low level. You just, you just, you know, just give us the budget. You know, we'll find a guy. Yeah. Right, listen. Yeah, yeah. If anybody knows a guy, you know, a guy? I know a guy. Tony, we're okay? Tony. I know a guy. <laughs> I, I, hey, I feel what? like you probably know a guy. You, uh, you want a TV? Yeah, you got a few of them. How big? Uh, eighty-five. It's pushing it. I got it. <laughs> push it, push I got it. it. <laughs> I got like ni- look, ninety-five. It gets real hard, so you know. Yeah. It's like five, ten minutes to find one. They fall off the back of a truck. Somewhere. Otherwise, I got it in thirty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> got a few in the back. I got of the car. guy at the factory. Good. Hey, listen. listen. It, it's like I've always it. said. 
Okay. It's always good to know a guy. It's like I've always said, you don't need to know how to do everything. All right. But you got to have a guy for over. everything. Oh, yeah. Got to have a guy. You got a guy for everything, you're good. All right, Amy, come sit down. Jump in here. I'm going to jump out. I'll let you guys do your... You guys, sit down. Uh, just jump on in. Yeah, just jump on in. Jump on your bike. All right, we'll be talking about your stuff. You come right, right in here. Right here. Do this as your mic for other people. Other people, you... boom. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, cool. That one on? A little microphone? Yeah, do you want to try to clip it on something? That one on? I don't know if you got anywhere to clip. Here, I'll try to clip for you. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Oh, yeah, we'll make it real nice. There you go. That's close enough. Close enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so what was your, uh, your right this year? Do you usually yeah. go scary? Do you just, this year you want to go a little gory? Um, I do a variety. Okay. Uh, I wanted to be this last year. Okay. And then I decided on the Big Bad Wolf last year. Okay. And then this year I was determined that I was going to do the evil evil clown. It's pretty good. Yeah, my husband made my... So what is going on here? How did you make these? Uh, I did not. I bought the wig. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, so it's all like part that. of the wig? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah they look like they the curls are part of the wig. <laughs> it's all... It's all... It's all part of it. It's all part there of it. There we go. Girls, if you want to tuck into this and clip this on you, clip that on your shirt. It there here. you go. Clip it right in there. Or sit it in the pocket. However you want to do that. Now we're hands. talking. We got Natalie. We got Caitlin out here. I don't even know There we go. Put a little clip on the back. Here. There Careful. you go. You'll figure it out. Don't break it, please. Just clip it here. Okay. Stark Industries will take care of it if you break it. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Every year, though, I go all out. Halloween's my favorite. So I can tell. So, what are the girls got going on here? We got this farmer. The farmer, Caitlin. Farmer. F. Flapper girls. You're a mouse? Yeah? <laughs> it's kind of a flapper costume. Oh, there we go. Look at that tail. But she she decided to add the tail this morning <laughs> and make herself a mouse. A mouse yeah. <laughs> Purple mouse. I love it. You got some uh, creative juices flowing. I like it. That's right. So uh, what, what are you doing, Corey? He was just wearing a shirt to uh, kind of go with he's yours. He's supporting me. Yeah, yeah. he's just in support. Yeah. <laughs> he's making sure everything he was, goes well. He was adding blood to my staff this morning. Beautiful. So, yeah. No, it's a very supportive husband. You That's right. Add a little blood. You got to make sure it looks blurry enough. That's it. What do you say? Oh, no, it's not even close. So here, I, I think I got some cash on me right now. Let's see what we got here. All right. Breaking out the dollar so dollar bills, y'all. Oh so How many mills you got there? I mean, this is just chump change. This is what I had. Uh, I had to tip the uh, the helicopter driver today. <laughs> Fifty dollars. These guys are cheap skates here, but uh, there's the winner. Money, money, money. money. <laughs> Bowling oh my shower. gosh. Bowling shower, everybody. Maybe. All right, as the winner, take Thank a bite you. of this. Tell us what you think. It looks good. Mashed potato, Ooh. mushrooms. Mike, don't even get Tony get a oh. workout here. I can't know. Okay. Did you get ice cream already? You gotta get an onion on yeah, there. Yeah, some mushrooms. A little yeah, you gotta get a little bit of everything. A little onion, a little mushroom, a little mashed potato. Is, is Captain America. Can see it now. Hey, me and Cap have had a tough time, but now we're, we're seeing eye to eye these days. Not there. <laughs> Definitely not there. You're a very righteous man, Cap. Wow, that's delicious. Yeah, this looks like something you get at a five star restaurant. Mm hmm. It's delicious. It looks like something that you would get at a one star restaurant. One star? One star. Does that mean good? Like, one, number one? No, one star gives you a dry, crusty <laughs> cheeseburger <laughs> that's overcooked with fries that are, that's like, soggy. That's delicious. That's delicious. That's gross. If We've nothing else, come down for that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is some, like, winter. Oh, 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 that's good. This is some party. Whipped cream that fills the world. Fills the world? Enough a whipped lot of cream, cream to fill the world. That's a lot of whipped cream. I think people would be drowning in whipped cream. Yeah. Have you seen, uh, what's because that movie? Whipped cream that fills the with a chance of meatballs? Have you seen that one or Just what? Just eat your way out. Yeah. Of the whipped cream world. I was going to say, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. That's pretty much a I think after that enough of it, you roll your way out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's going to happen after I get out of here. <laughs> you want to you wanna do more of this? No, I'm good. You're good? I just had a... El Pastor quesadilla Ooh. and some oh, cheese man. curds. Oh my god! This is the what dessert. What is that? That's so, the creme witch. We'll get close here. Creme witch. What was that? Mike ordered. Um, go ahead and take a bite. It's like a yeah, see what we got here. You're welcome. And, uh, vanilla ice cream. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. Yeah, the girls awesome. are gonna try this. We're gonna get this over the girls too. Wow. I can Go ahead. Yeah, this, this is my hat. <laughs> He's like, no one's touching my yeah. hat. Do you guys also want one of the little mini um, cones that has the pine or the pumpkin? She had one. She had one already. So we'll cut this one up. Yeah, cut this one up. We'll give it. Oh. You're gonna like an ice cream with peanut butter and chocolate on it. It's a great. You wanna try it? Wanna try it? Yeah. Natalie, it Natalie, Natalie, Natalie is gonna cut. Cover- Hopefully for my stream. She's gonna cut it for us and then bring it back over. Yep. Oh, you're gonna like this thing. Natalie does not like ice cream, believe really? I think that I you ate too much of it. Feeling. Yeah, there you go. Pop right well, yours. I think I ate too much of it while I was pregnant with her and now she <laughs> doesn't want to eat it. Ever. That happens. Pop right under your tail. Just don't let it hit the ground. Okay? Yeah, don't break it. I won't be They're pretty now. durable. Or I'm gonna be turning this fifty dollars back over for a new <laughs> microphone. <laughs> This, this food is my amazing. costume. She won the costume contest. She, you won? Yeah. She won. She's the winner. You do a little dance for me. All right. We're going to try right. it. Caitlin, yeah. try this thing out. I'm going to take the little piece. You take the big piece. Caitlin. Go for it. I'm going to take this piece. Right. That's okay. Oh, you're good. You're I'll good. eat that part. All the better. It's okay, actually. I think we all got a taste. Oh, my gosh. I wouldn't have thought that the brioche bun and stuff makes sense with this until you taste it. Well, that's yeah. very good. Yeah. Just the ice cream dipped in the Nutella is really good. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That is so good. Be careful with that, Kalen. We're probably going to be, yeah, we're going to figure out how we do this. Well, we're going to be wrapping this thing up. I think we tried just about everything uh, Fuel and Creme has to offer here. I want to say thank you again so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah. We this love it so here. Fun. Yes. We love it here. You guys live right down we, the street, too. We've come several times. Yeah. We love it here. I got pumpkins from here this year. Yeah. So, yeah, we love it. Great great place. Your costume is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so, all right. Well, before we get too nice into catch. here, yeah, we got this. I'm going to it around. Thank you, Karen. We want to give a shout out to everyone to stop by today. Thank you guys so much. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. Keep stoking those fires. It's been a fun time. We're going to catch the rest of this Bears game with the rest of these uh, these Bears fans over here. I don't know what these guys are seeing them. But, uh, Rob, you guys got anything back there? You guys want to give us a shout-out? Uh, no, no, I think we're good. Uh, let's go. I'm just saying bye to everyone. Bye, bye everybody. everybody. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Bye, See you next Halloween, I'm guessing. <laughs> and that's a wrap. Justin just clapped it up. We're done. We'll see ya. Have a good night. Thanks for watching the episode. Thank you to everyone who's been subscribing, liking, commenting. Keep doing that. It means the world to us. Did want to say thank you to all of our amazing sponsors, York Furrier. If you're looking for fine outerwear and furs, go check them out in Elmhurst, right on York Road. More Brewing Company. If you're looking for interesting, uh, creative, craft brews and food go check them out in Villa park in huntley jpl landscaping and property services they've given us this fantastic firewood once again so they're going to be keeping us warm for quite a while thank you so much jim mike's and casey's meat markets well we love their meats that's as simple as it gets there thank you guys for your support as well jay and jill create you guys are part of the family i uh, really appreciate everything you've done for us claremont collections the most impressive private car collection in the city. It is a museum. Go check them out. Consume cannabis. If you're going to consume, consume cannabis. And then Angel Fancies is our newest sponsor. Giving us this fantastic new sign. Check it out. Beautiful stuff. She does custom signs, shirts, everything else. Anything you need printed, check them out on uh, Spring Road in Elmhurst. And as always, the Basement Boys. We love you guys. Bunch of crazies there. We love them. Bonfire banter, keep watching. Thank you so much, everyone supporting us. Keep stoking those fires.